Oh yeah, what a great way to start the stream. <laughs> All right, it, it's time. I gotta put my glasses on. I forgot to do that. Gre greetings and salutations, my fellow Entropians, and whoever else is watching. This is Entropia Universe, the world's best real cash economy game in the world. I already kind of mentioned that. Yeah, uh, it, it, everything is real money. It's like, for every 10 PED you have, that's equal to one US dollar. And uh, you put money in, play, and maybe you could take some money out. I do the long term thing. But not, not today. We're doing some hunting in the, the Easter mayhem. Yeah. It's gonna be dope. Brandon is up in the house. He can tell you he, he gets all the globals. He gets all the money. Boom. Uh, yeah. We're hanging out here at... Uh, we're not gonna be here for very long. I'm just gonna throw that out there. We're gonna get, get started. Uh... But before we do, I, I gotta really actually do something. Uh, if you, it's it's like the you know, every it's once a, in a while you gotta we're not be shut up. Now. Okay, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and pop out this chat so I can like read extra. All right. When I don't do this, everything just it's not good. We get shuffle on. Alright, everything's good. Everything's good on this end. We got the popped out the chat. Easter mayhem. We'll be starting here in just a minute. There's nothing but bunch pew pew anyway, so it doesn't really matter what we're doing now. Mm. Did I really forget to get extra drinks? Extra snacks? Man. I tell you what. Oh boy. So maybe invest some more into the DJT. But probably not. All right. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah. Press the B, go to global instances. Let's start off with some five. And uh, enter the five. All right, the dialogue for this. We're gonna go with a Regilite track. We're not gonna finish it, but you get like massive amounts of dingle hoppers. Oh, that's a lot of points. All right. So we got all of our stuff here. We're gonna start taking our pills. All right. And let's go ahead and start. And that's it. This is all we're going to do for the next, I don't know how long. It's going to be forever. So feel free to... Wait, Brandon says his wife is going to hunt for him. That's cheating. I can't have my girlfriend hunt for me. This is not fair. But now nah, we're going to have a nice chill time. Hopefully... Got any questions about Trophy Universe? I can answer or try. This game's really complex. First Easter strong box. I don't have any keys. I'm gonna have to wait until the first to open up boxes. Bayrock, hey bro. Hey Lures, good luck with me. I need it. I need all the luck I can get. I really do.
I'm not gonna go too crazy. What's my thought on the new UI update and all? I mean, I didn't really like it too much, but it's not too god awful. I mean, it's 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 doable. You can still have like extra things just hanging around, you know, extra little places to throw something. So it's not like I can't just put all everything on a bar, you know. So I'm I'm pretty cool with it. Like the fact that I can like look at all my my buffs. So that's cool. Um, I like the fact that they're upgrading the graphics and stuff. That's that's on point. Whoa! Think speaking of points, we already got 106. We just started. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with the new update, the UI and stuff. I'm okay with it. There are a few things that I need to work out. But uh, there's a reason I don't have like anything on my number four. Because I've always used number four mouse button that I hit with my thumb as my F key. And now page up and page down what I usually used to have it on was something completely different. Now it, now it uses to scroll through. Which is okay. I just have to get used to a few things. Uh, my dissension for flying ships used to be control. Right control. And uh, ascension used to be uh, number pad zero. So it was, it's on both sides of each other. I can't use the right control anymore. So I had to move it to uh, number pad delete which makes no sense you can rebind the action bar and settings if you, yeah I know you can rebind anything you want to anything you want it's just the fact that I don't know what buttons I need to do that with anymore but I, I've already did it I've like changed everything to where I'm good enough and if anything comes up I'll be like all right well I can just do this. So we're good. We're good. Hell yeah. How's the music volume? Music volume okay? Need to go up? Need to go down? Can you hear the music? I mean, I can find out myself. Let's see. I'm going to find out myself. Yeah, I know. You can rebind anything you want to anything you want. Yeah, it sounds like it's good. It sounds like it's good. Hell yeah. Ooh. Vehicles are a big problem for you right now. Yeah, me too. I know. I feel you. Um, there are a little bit of like bugginess. I, I try to put something on the ground in my shop. And whenever I go to click on the, the thing to, uh, to make a price on it, I pick it up. I'm like, what the fuck? That's not cool. <laughs> half the time how you like the adjusted resto chip you bought one last year and you can't live without yeah I can't live without mine I love it I've, I've been digging on this what's up QC gamer hey if you down with some of uh, fallout 76 content go check out uh, QC gamer thanks for stopping by for this Easter mayhem Unfortunately, I think you need a PC to play this game, so... Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. Now, the only other... Yeah, I think... I don't know what my button is for F. I don't like actually pressing the F key. I like whatever the hell I had it at last time. Bayrock, you visited my shop recently? Uh, I recently just restocked it with... Uh, Christmas strong boxes. I had like 500 of them, so. And I think I'm, I'm competing with everyone else. I don't know.
Uh, hopefully we get some more points. Maybe we get like a, a glow up here. It was really just way too soon to be asking for things from Ludius. That's the last of that. Ah, I'm just kind of glad I could just play with my mouse hand. So I can like absolutely chill. It's just one button over and over while we cycle through reading chat and taking, taking bumps. Oh yeah, that's, that's the spirit. Brandon it says, hold on now, is that your global or wifey's global? <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can't get get these guys up in here. I know Brandon's here. Might as well just tell everybody, hey everybody, that actually worked. <laughs> attention, attention. <laughs> no rush, two minutes, yeah! Hey, thanks for the good luck wishes. Brandon's already been knocking it out of the park. He had like a 5,000 PED hit the other day. Number two on the Hall of Fame board. Let's go, Brandon. You're just going to relax and tame bunnies this year? Hey, that's okay. I like to support the game. I don't want this game going anywhere. So when it's it, it, it called arms, Easter mayhem, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Easter, summer, Halloween, Mary, I'm on it. It's the least I could do to keep the lights on over at my dark headquarters <laughs> Arthur you're like hey YouTube hey <laughs> but nah I mean I really want to see this game expand a little bit more uh, that's why I keep trying to I'm, I'm, I'm trying to subtly push it into mentioning it on other other gaming videos that I do so we can maybe get some players to come and enjoy it. Now that was a 1441 PED hit right there. That's a good dollar forty cents. Uh. But I do like the fact that, you know, this game is kind of it is free to play. If you want to sweat a lot. I mean, it's very social too. And here's the problem with that. Here's the problem with that. The kids nowadays, they're afraid to talk in video games, okay? And I don't blame them, because, like, whatever you you say can and will be used in a, in a YouTube video somewhere. <laughs> Everything's being recorded, y'all. So, I mean, you might as well just uh, put up a good front, be a good person, and uh, learn to laugh a little when people are trolling. Because everything's being recorded. Even in real life. There's always a camera somewhere. Every time you scratch your butt, like, reach in deep, scratch your balls in, in, in a public area... No way, nobody might be looking at you, but there's a camera that, that sees it all. So don't be picking your nose and eating your boogers out in public because the cameraman sees all. That's right. And so, like, people are afraid. Yeah, yeah, QC Gamer, like, you know for a fact, you see that in Fallout, people are afraid to get on the mic, but it's because you're recording them. I get it. Bayrock says, I just saw a psychiatrist trying to finally address my own anxieties and whatnot. 
It's kind of weird, though. You'd be like, hey, I, I, I really think that there's someone watching me constantly. And it's not, it's no longer like some schizophrenic shit. It's like there's always a camera somewhere watching you. Even in your own house. That's why I keep this fucker covered. Oof, repair bills. Yeah. But it's all good. We're hanging out. We're chilling. But yeah, I, I want. I, I, one of the major reasons I started doing other games other than Entropia years back, and I went over the Fallout 76, is to try to get people to come join Entropia. I have not stopped thinking about that. Entropia is my main game. Bar none, just sitting here is my main game now yes it 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 can get a little bit monotonous and boring but no you gotta think it's a very socially aspected game i come here to hang out with my homies right and sometimes i tell my homies i'm not gonna be back until the next mayhem then i come back and they're all here they're like hey welcome welcome back yo welcome back 72 76 P.E.D. Global right there. Rocking it out. I'm not even going to post it, guys. I, I, I don't want to find it. Everything's so messed up nowadays. Ugh, got to blow my nose. Oh, yeah. Look at the grossness. Bayrock says, I know you're real about this game. You're online every time I check my friends list. Yeah. Well, I come in, I do my weekly show, and then I'm out when I'm on vacation. Or breaking from Metropia. I gotta, I gotta build up my money supply. And then during the summertime, I usually come in and play. Without doing mayhem. And I usually spend several thousand dollars to do it. I might have to like skip out on that this year. And then we'll just do like fall and autumn once it starts getting cold again. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out once, once we get to that bridge. We'll, we'll check on the bridge and see if it's not going to collapse or anything. Then we'll cross it. carry with us like uh, inflatable tubes and stuff in case it does collapse rest in peace anybody that uh, recently fell off a bridge <sighs> Bayrock's like damn lures I think I stick to cigarettes over that stuff I'm trying to quit before I make a habit <laughs> right now <laughs> yeah yeah uh. I, I do it. I, I don't know why I'm doing it. I, I've enjoyed it for over a year now. Because I was already having nasal issues anyway, so I, I was like, screw it. I might as well just sniff stuff to make it worse. <laughs> it's actually helped my nose a little bit. So we're we're actually using a lot of the ammo that we saved uh, from that uh, from Merry Mayhem. We managed to get up to like 300 PD of ammo. So I'm kind of like I'm kind of good for right now. Uh, Bayrock, you picked up a pack of Newports a few weeks ago and started smoking suddenly. I haven't had a cigarette in forever, and I like that. I, 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 they, they're just way too gross for me. I hate the smell. It literally smells like formaldehyde. I guess. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. <sighs> I got the sneezies. <laughs> Roastness. Should probably snick sticks or hit hit up the stronger stuff. Cause we have some blow. They're all named after cocaine, by the way. <laughs> These special ones. It's like a white tobacco. Yeah, if you're going to cough, you might as well have weed coughs, man. Hey, don't forget to drop a like on the video so, like, it gets shared further out there. Because that's how the algorithm works for some reason. You'd be doing me a great service. And man, oh man, it, the world has done gone uh, crazy. It's because the elections are coming up and people are just going crazy about everything. I don't vote, so I don't care, honestly. Why in my world is buttons no work? Samo Malo, yeah. Thanks for the likings. I, I like it when you like it. I, I greatly appreciate it. Of course, I haven't done the met metadata on the on, on the video yet. We're just going off of title. But we're hanging out. It's just easy going one click and then we're good. I really, really, really wish I could press the, the other buttons right now, but we have to always keep clicking. Because what we're doing right now is we're getting all of our skills up. We're using 100% skill pills right now, along with uh, what, what we got going on. Some of all, hey, lurk all you need to, my, my 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 friend. Hanging out, chilling. And then we got our systems going on. Should probably add society. In case somebody wants to talk to me. <laughs> see, I, I still gotta get my chat bars working up again. As you can see, I, I only have like four. I got one specifically for society. We got the rookie chat and the main chat and the system chat. And I guess three of those is, is natural. So I gotta add in my other chats and stuff. I had to make it bigger because I can't freaking see. But hopefully, hopefully we hit something big and won't have to deposit any more money. I already put in two hundred dollars that I didn't want to put in, and that's just for repairs. And hey, hey, fifty-eight seventy-seven, yeah, baby. And I got my gun, spent a little bit on some extra enhancers and whatnot. Got an uh, amp. Standard says, how many Entropians have been griefed so far? Well, I know for a fact that I killed like 16 people yesterday at Boreas. With a Fury Hound pill, so 16 this week. Ah. 
I had to do it. I just had to do it. Not even recorded it. Just just did it to do it. So if you died at Boreas yesterday, that was me. As a matter of fact, we might actually see that. Hall of Fame. Kills his creatures last 24 hours. Oh no. Maybe it was the other day. But you know what? It's okay. We still got our name right there. 92 for 42. Got 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 to murder everybody. Everyone gets it. It's kind of, it's kind of, I'm like hot and cold today. I don't know why. I ate something. Grief the cosmos. Grief everything. Yeah. There's griefing in No Man's Sky as well. Yo, we got Easter Robot rank up. Claim reward. What are we going to choose? Maybe some athletics. I do have drugs. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not really drugs. It's herbal. There's some Kratom, the, the strong stuff. Maybe I should hit this up today. I don't want to feel sick. Let's just do the other stuff. It's still Kratom, but it's a little bit... Uh, uh, abort? Abort? Abort. What? Press it like some button here. You made a screenshot? I guess so. You know, this is actually pretty good. Oh, I have to remember Hitman. It's Kevin McLeod Hitman. I'm gonna use that in the video. If I can get my nose clear, I can be able to breathe a little bit better. I should be in a better position. Yep. Speaking of breathing. Oh, yeah. Straight oxygen through the nose. You're supposed to do it in your mouth, but I do it through my nose because it just feels better and smells nice. In-game Biochronicle is up in the chat. Hey, bro. How's it going? Ah, glasses back on. Yeah, that oxygen just, just relaxes anything that's in my nose. It's nice. But I think we, we, we got enough ammo. We got enough PED to last us to the first of the month. We're in a Regilite track, so hopefully we get a lot of points. Wouldn't that be nice? And I think if we just stay with the Evitiators 5, Eviscerators? God damn it. If we stay with the, the, the Category 5, we should be okay with points. Maybe. Might actually end up costing us a lot more in the long run. I don't know. Ooh, yeah. I should probably pour this into the cup. It's going to be a long mayhem for me. I'm not going to stream all of it, of course. But I thought I would at least stream this part of it. Might take a little break and uh, play a different game. At some point, maybe I'm definitely going to stream it. I got a lot of games. 
Uh, I know I was going to stick on the Final Fantasy stuff, but uh, I did manage to get a Squaresoft game called Harvest Stella or something. I want to see what that's all about, but I opened it up and uh, it gave me three choices for sex. As in, like, you can pick three different types of characters. Male, female, and non-binary. I'm thinking about, like, just sending it fucking back. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be woke like that. <coughs> Probably has gay marriage in it, too. I don't know, man. That stuff's ruining society. Maybe that's not, not the best take I could have, but whatever. I might be wrong. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. But we'll just have to see what the game's all about. Apparently it's like supposed to be like some Stardew Valley stuff. Gen 5 of the MK1, what tier is that? It's tier 7 or 8? Yeah, it's tier 8. Mostly all damage enhancers. So we're doing like uh, 64 to 128. With all the pills and stuff, Robert, uh, we're doing all right. Not to mention the uh, Easter ring that uh, gives like extra critical chance. We're, we're rocking like 8% critical percentage points. So it kind of ups it just a little bit more. So we can do a little bit more with it. But I can't afford any other big, big weapons because, like, I just... For some reason, I can't get a lot of PED. I always end up, like, reinvesting it into Deeds and Shares or something. But I tell you what, once, uh... What do you call it? New Treasure Island Shares go back up to, like, 10... Might, I might might sell you and uh, get a new weapon. You're just basically steadily depositing till you buy something bigger. Yeah, that's usually what you got to do. I know, I know that grind. The thing is, like this gun right here, it, it will burn through some ammo. Like we started what uh, about thirty something minutes ago. Wait, no. Yeah, thirty minutes ago, and we've already burned through. Two hundred PD of ammo, but then again, we haven't actually like uh, cycled it back in because uh, we got four hundred eighty-one. So I guess we're doing all right with the cycle. a good vibe but then again I'm just cheap you know if I if I stay at this rate of play I can actually you know it, it feels like I could save a lot more money instead of going with something bigger and I'll just it just goes faster and I'm, I, I can't do that that's why it's, I like having this gun I know it's like significantly lower level 
but it, it serves me well, especially with all the damage enhancers, and it just becomes like, let's just pump out the, all the ammo burn. But the repair bill's nice on it. Until I put like a Dante on it and then have to repair that. That's like, I'm not trying to do that. So I use the limited stuff. They seem to last a little bit longer, is a little bit cheaper. You gotta make sacrifices. You gotta play within your budget. And I don't have I don't have that much disposable income. these Easter boxes we got 500 PD of ammunition let's go ahead and change that over yeah oof I, I totally feel like we're like about to like do some caveman shit you know hell yeah Come on, give me some caveman loot. Let's go. Give me like a stick or something. I'm gonna beat these things over the head with it. Give me a sword made made out of one of these things arms or something. Yeah, that would be dope. <laughs> they really need to add some extra loot to this game. I'm telling you. Now we're just going to have a nice walk through Paris, I guess. Actually, I don't think you can do that anymore. <laughs> Cultural enrichment is in process over there. Uh... They just want to buy up all the low value property. So they send in low value people right to just do crimes and stuff so the property values go lower so they can scoop it all up and they can like sell it back to everybody at a higher 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 rate they're doing that in america they're doing it in europe doing it everywhere well almost everywhere You're a creature standing in a specific spot because that spot worked well for you a few years back. Yeah, I know that feeling because, like, it just feels like if you stand in a certain spot and just not move, like, it's lucky. But it, is it, though? Is it really? Because, I don't know, it might be, but is it, though? There's a lot of superstitious people that play this this game. They think, you know, all sorts of weird stuff. Which I'm all for, you know? If you think it's going to do you better to do do it a certain way, then then that's on you. But if it ends up being true, I'm telling you, it's just crazy. But yeah, I know, I know that. I, I know the exact feeling. I like to move around because I got the ADHD.
check out the society chat haha <laughs> nice ah words and stuff but Easter mayhem has begun as of today I was a little bit late to get the stream up and running but I was like okay we gotta get the stream up and running out I just zoned out there for a second it does tend to happen but everyone rejoice if you got a PC get in on this this action it might take you if you're making a new character it might take you like at least a year to get to where where you can even enter this little little thing but depending and unless you got like a little bit of money you just pump it in Grind set. <laughs> Critical hit, additional damage, yes. Ah, yeah. Come on, give me something good. I've been away for a while. Let me let me get like a big hoff. For, for all it's worth, give me money. <laughs> give me money or give me skill. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh. They, I know. I know for a fact. I need to put my button back. I'm gonna do it right now. Key bindings. Interact. Is that is that right? Do that. Yeah, do that. There we go. There we go. Tired. I'm tired of it. I'm just tired of it. There's like two main buttons I use, and that's one of my buttons. In case I have like this hand free, I can always like press it with my left hand. A different button. The customization is still there. Thank God. Got a new shirt from Crunchyroll. Anime Girls. Hell yeah. This is called Airport Lounge. So we're, we are listening to some elevator music in the Airport Lounge. Ah, that's actually really refreshing. Right there, that was the hit that took it. Oh, yes. Clean my nose. A little bit of this. Yeah, that should send me coasting for a little while. I'm good. I'm good now. Bit of oxygen. For better brain flow. Don't forget your ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is good for blood circulation in your brain. It clears out all the aneurysms that you might have building up. Or it's just gonna kill you. I don't know. Be careful. Ask ask your doctor. Or just be your own doctor. Do you do you whatever you wanna do, do it. Unless it's against the law. Then think really hard before you do it. 
I'm not going to tell you what to do. Besides, you're not going to listen to me anyway. <laughs> so, it's just a suggestion. Don't break the law. And do whatever you want to do. But you should be buying some gold and silver. Just in case the world turns to shit. Yeah. You never know when you might have to pay pay people in little silver dimes or whatever. Be like, here, go go plant this garden for me. And pray that they do a good job so you can have food. Maybe buy some survival seeds. And survival food in case things go south. I don't know. We live in that kind of world. But of course, there are people that uh, are already living that way. And we're not. <sighs> man. The world... If the United States just goes to shit, man. It's going to cause me to actually go outside and make a garden so I can eat and that's too much work and I have to socialize outside what a pain man it's gonna suck if the internet shuts off and the power shuts off I mean, we're not getting fresh water and we'll have to wait for the rain I don't have rain collection things. Maybe I should buy a tarp. That might actually help. And I could use the tarp to cover my bicycle so the pollen doesn't get on it. Because, like, there's a bunch of pollen on my bicycle and I can't ride my bike to the store because I'm going to get pollen all over my clothes. Then I'm going to bring it in the house and then I'm going to be sneezing for days. It's a good thing it's raining outside. It's nice. It's like puddles of pollen now. It's horrible. But I've I've refrained from going outside lately. Therefore, pollen is not really a problem of mine. Only whenever I go to take the trash out do I have to touch pollen with my hands. But then I wash my hands. It's a thing. Ah, uh, we might have to heal here in a second. See, ADHD is a superpower. I can just keep talking and talking for days on end about the most random things. But back on the subject, survival is a lot of work. And for right now, you can survive off the work of other people. Because everyone has work. Sort of. Because there's enough greed that keeps people wanting to provide services for everyone else. But the price of those services are going up. Then what? Then what are you going to do? Everything's more expensive. Then you have to ask for a raise or you get laid off. Either or happens. And it sucks. And then the government's going to ask you for money. It's like, dude, I can't even afford rent. But they don't care. And and the, all they're talking about is squatters now. You, you hearing about these squatters and stuff? Yeah, they're about to take that away. Because the squatters have abused those rights for a while. And uh, I think people are getting tired of it. We already got vigilantes on it. Which, vigilanteism is... Is, is a sign of a, a, a decaying society. Which, in America, I guess is okay. Because, <coughs> uh, you know... It just brings back uh, a little bit more freedom. The freedom to go after crime yourself. Screw the law. 
But there is a problem with that because like everyone is entitled to like a, a, a day in court or whatever. But man, if you catch somebody actually committing crimes, though, I, I think I think they're a little bit more lenient on you. But if you're like known to go out to go cause trouble or well keep trouble from happening or enforcing law on troublemakers I don't know that's probably against the law it's vigilantism that's true survival yeah I just recently learned or relearned. I just recently watched a video that just confirmed that America has 120 guns for every 100 people. <laughs> so I'm really not worried. Because <laughs> a lot of these gun owners, man, they, they, they're pretty law abiding people. For the most part. There are a few bad apples, I suppose. Turn up, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Are we losing money right now? Yeah, we're down. Maybe. Hopefully we're getting the skills. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make more stuff. Rookie. I don't want to hang out in rookie chat. Maybe we should just hang out in all the chats. Yeah. Now we get to see everything. Kind of want to make this like huge so we can just look. Uh oh, need to heal again. This new system is like kind of crazy. It's the health bars are, are wicked weird. Anybody got any questions? I, I got answers. Like, what am I going to do? When uh, the SHTF stuff happens? That means shit hits the fan. What am I going to do? I don't know. Hopefully the power don't go out. Or the internet. If that happens, then, then shit has hit the fan. And then you can't get gas or buy anything. That's going to be pretty bad. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm prob I'll probably start a garden. Hopefully the shit hits the fan doesn't happen like in autumn. If shit's going to hit the fan, it needs to happen right now. So I know to start working on a garden for summertime. But maybe I should start buying some of those mason jars so we can do some canning or whatever. Maybe like dig a hole for like refrigeration under the house. That means we're gonna have to deal with snakes and shit. There's probably a snake under my house. I hate snakes. The slithering bastards. can't believe I chose Regilite again. I told myself I wasn't going to do it. Now I'm like stuck on the game for the rest of Easter Mayhem. Let's see. We got uh, nine minutes. So we have to re-up on everything. We'll probably just pop one of these things. Going for all the loot. I'm going for all the loot. Let's go. Perfect. 
yeah. Let's get that vibe going on, everybody. If you're if you're hunting right now, vibe vibe with me. Let's get that loot. Brandon, I hope you get a big hoff, but I hope I get one too. <laughs> hope we drain the loot pool. Let's go. Vibe hard, my friends. Not gonna lie, I hope I get a ton of points here just soon so I can get the first part of the regulate. Usually 10,000 points takes a while. I want 5,000 points in one go. That'd be lit. Apparently, I don't sound my age. I sound like I'm in my 20s. Someone told me this just the other day. I said, dude, I thought you were like 28. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, no, bro. I'm older than you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and then I get all these comments calling me a kid because I'm doing bad things in a video game. Get out of here, bro. I've been griefing so long. There's that one guy. He's like, yo, you, you're, you're a clown. I'm like, well, I am trying to entertain people, bro. So I got, I got, I got to, you know, do things to entertain. So in, in a way, I mean, yeah, I kind of am a clown. I don't know why you're, you're, you're considering that such a bad thing. I don't understand. Aren't clowns supposed to entertain and make people happy and joke around and be jovial and shit that's what i thought but no i think clown is an insult nowadays like okay what okay is it like i'm just that big of a fool i know i'm a fool of sorts i'm not, I'm not completely a fool I'm, I'm quite wise you could call me a wise ass a wise fool once said. <laughs> I don't care what you think of me. Because I'm not doing anything wrong. Even when I'm doing something wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. I got the ADHD. It just happens. And then I have to deal with the consequences of my own actions. Which isn't bad, right? Ooh, we got a 93% on this right here. We are, are rolling out with like, what? What is this? It's uh, increased skill gain. So 190. So we're at 200% skill gain right now. Almost. Oh, yeah. We're just rocking in our ghost. We got the dodge to make ghost like legit now. Ghost is really good armor if you have have enough dodge and evade. You know, if you got enough evade, you're dodging, you're, you're, you're dodging all these attacks and stuff. You're evading them. So the repair bill is not that bad. Especially if you got, like, the right stuff. I want that new Easter ring. I want the new Easter ring for assaults. Assault the objective. When things go haywire, you need to assault the objective. And that's how it works. That's how you do it. That's how you rock it and just bomb it. Just bum bum bum. Assault the objective. Make them go on the defensive. You know? Words to live by. The, the best offense isn't always a great defense. The best offense is a good offense. But you also have to, you know, you have some people uh, hanging out and defending, you know? I don't know. Just read the art of war, you'll be fine. 
If your enemy is making mistakes, don't correct them. <laughs> but if your friend is making mistakes, point them in the right direction. If they don't want to listen, leave them alone. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Be respectful. Because some people just want to do their own thing, you know? Robert R. says, I'd rather have the Summer 20 and Christmas 22 combo than this year's Easter 24, personally. <sighs> yeah, I know that you could do a bunch of little combos with pre-existing stuff. I get it. I really do. It's just, I don't have Summer 20 and Christmas 22 money. <laughs> because... If I was to buy something like that, I'd have to not play the game for like a few months. When I should be playing it, you know? Unless I hit something really huge and then I can play off of that. Like I'm talking like a huge, huge Hoff. Like, all-time high levels, you know? If I get, like, an all-time high-level Hoff, it's mostly shrapnel. I'll convert all of that into ammo. And then just, I, I, I will definitely play. Play, play, play. Not mayhem play, but, like, go out and get materials to sell. Oh, yeah. More dedication is required. That makes two of us. Yes. And that being said, I'm like really wanting some of these prices to go ahead and drop. Like, here's something that I don't understand. And I, I do actually understand it, though. Is the Unreal Tokens. You know, the ones that are supposed to turn in the shares. They're still 10 PED a pop. Right? And uh, because they refuse to sell those things for less than 10 PED a pop, everything else in the share system is going down. So they can, like, afford to, like, keep buying them at whatever price that they're buying them at to try to sell them at 10. I don't know that... There is also a bunch of stuff that's dropping from Twin. A lot of people getting that stuff and then trying to sell it for, you know, kind of high prices. But prices need to, like, go down a little bit. On, like, various different things. But I know that that's, like, this, that's really hard for people to, to, to really come to terms with because a lot of people have invested the higher amount into those items and they don't want it to go down. I get that. So it is what it is. It looks like we got... Oh, no. It's almost time to re-up on our... Uh, our goodness. Robert R says, well, if MA follows through and actually turns them into shares based off the total game. Hold on, let me, let me go ahead and do this. And I'll read. It's pill taking time. All right, if MA fo follows through and actually turns them into, into shares based off the total game, they should ultimately be worth 10 PD, yes? But right now, I'm just a guessing game if it will happen or not. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. It's just not time for it to happen, right? It's not time for it to happen at all. It's not 2025 when they estimated it to go, it, for it to go down. But yeah, I mean, it, realistically, yeah, it should stay at 10. Realistically, yeah. 
That's usually the base price. But get this. If that's the base price for them, but the shares are going lower than 10, right? Follow me? If they're going lower than 10, why not just drop the price on those because they're not even paying out yet? You get what I'm saying? They're not paying out. The shares are paying out and dropping less than 10. So why keep keep thinking that, that these things that are not actually paying out because they're not shares yet, that they are actually more worthy to be 10 than uh, a new Treasure Island share that's 8? You get what I'm saying? Hell, even the uh, Crystal Palace Space Station, those things are at 11 now. From like 15. Don't don't expect these bad boys to go anywhere. But uh, yeah, see what I'm saying? Like these things are selling for under 10, and they pay out. I don't know, man. That being said, though, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should just buy a bunch at 10. And just hold on to them. Or, or realistically, just let them drop. And then I'll buy some. At nine or eight. But they don't want to do that. They know the value of them. These things are really supposed to like be like on par with like maybe uh, Calypso. In theory. We won't know until it happens. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Because of the future and assumed intrinsic value of Unreal shares, NTI shares are a very small part of the game compared to what the Unreal shares could pay out based on the whole game. Just said that, yes. I said that, but you said it in less words, so you win. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. But, they're not paying out now. So, if they're not even paying out, but yeah, you are assuming that they will pay out a lot more in the future, that's fine. But you're, you're, time is money and we're losing time because they're not paying out. So therefore, they're probably worth less. Even if they are gonna be really good in the future. Because are they gonna are they gonna pay out to the point where it 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 makes you whole for this entire waiting game that you're you're trying to keep it at ten? You know, is 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 it gonna do that? Because it it would need to. And there's no guarantee that it will. Because it might just pay out like what three. Maybe even up to five p peck a week per share. Five peck per share every week. Let's just assume that. That would that would essentially may mean that they're what maybe probably like fifty p d a piece. But they're not paying out now. So maybe maybe keeping it at ten might be the might be the way. I don't know. Honestly, it'd be interesting to see. I know I'm, I I really really should get some more before it goes up to fifty. But we won't know. We won't know until like a whole nother year has passed. Got 317 points within our second hour. Don Adam is here. Yo, what's good, broski? Hey, Don, how many Unreal tokens do you get?
Nah, you know what? I think I might end up buying a bunch of those and skipping out on summer this year. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Magic. I'm gathering it. We got twenty five unreal. Nice. I did hit up everything, didn't I? Eighteen thirty eight. All right, good. I used up all of my my mayhem tokens to buy up all my my skill pills. Cuz I haven't gotten a rare token, Brandon. But if you definitely do the regulate, yeah, you you'll definitely get the mayhem tokens you need to turn into for something nice. Why haven't I ever gotten a rare token? It's like the game like takes my money and gives it to everyone else like 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 communism and like never really gives me it makes me whole again. But that's okay for now. Maybe my all-time high is just building up. <laughs> Cope and seethe. Cope and seethe. <laughs> Whatever you want to tell yourself. Maybe this year I'll get my own little ring. My own little Easter ring. When I open up the boxes, probably on the first. I'll probably do it on stream. Just mass box openings. Y'all mind if I piss in a Gatorade bottle? I'm just kidding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. <laughs> and shoot another one. Turned. Who got bored and left? I know somebody <laughs> did. Oh, nobody did. Wow, that, that's a first. <laughs> oh man, ah, oh, somebody did. <laughs> right when I got back. Hundred and fifteen seasonal boxes with no ways to get keys at this time. Yeah, that that that's par for the course. Yeah, I can't get I'm not gonna get keys. 
until like the first when I get paid. And just getting repair money was enough of an issue for me. So we got that going on. Uh oh, it's classical music time. We got Wagner, the ride of the Valkyries. 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 We're going to send these robots to a new home the scrapyard. Drinking some tea, water, we got Mountain Dew. Oxygen in a can. Some blow. Everything's good. Life is good. Let's break out some other stuff. Got some toot. I can't go wrong with toot and some nose candy. We're just we're just gonna do the snub series today. I just can't with anything else. I'd rather put my nose through the, the ringer today with the hardcore tootin' Booty juice and sniffleupolicus. <coughs> You're using a 100% five hour pill? Hell yeah. That's the good shit right there, Mr. Box Opener. Darko Skinderski says, Good luck, mate. I haven't watched you for a long time. When I saw that thing, I was sure I was in the wrong place. Nice mate, happy to see you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Welcome back, bro. Oh, Don, you're about to get a new computer, bro? Hell yeah. I'm thinking about doing the same. Honestly. And this, to make this the backup computer. The 1080 be the backup computer. But the 1080 still runs everything I need it to run. But I'm just afraid that uh, it's just going to go down. It's the, I know this, this graphics card was actually from the old PC I had. So we're, we're, we're rocking, we're rolling. Ah. I had to add this song into the loop. I like classical music. I, I'm not a lyrically based person. I'm not one of those people that like to sing along to wet ass pussy. I'm sorry. And Taylor Swift? That girl needs to lose my number. She needs to stop harassing me and calling me all the time. That girl is crazy. Taylor Swift, I know you're watching. Stop harassing me. I mean it. Modern day girls are just crazy nowadays. <coughs> Ooh, the nose candy is probably one of my favorites. Didn't used to like it too much, and now I've acquired quite the taste for it. And these things are eating me alive. Might need to check. Oh, we're only lost a little bit. I need to get some armor stuff. A lot of my armor needs to already be tiered up again. Nana Shana Nana, it's a Shane killed creature of Annihilation Eviscerator 8 with a value of 50 PED. You kind of figured they'd get more. Darko Skinderski says, well, I'm a truck driver at the moment, so I'm wondering what kind of laptop low end guys. I really missed the game since you were on the subject. Yo, yeah, get, just get yourself a nice little laptop, bro. Don't worry about low end, get a good one. 
I mean, a lot of technology is a little bit cheaper nowadays, you know? And if you got decent enough credit, you can always just pay for it over time. That, that, I'm going to do meta PCs. I'm going to go through meta PCs. I, I got like a good 800 credit score, so they'll probably like let me pay it over time. I'm going to get the best fucking rig that you could ask for. But yeah, the game will still be here, hopefully. But you gotta log in every once in a while, they might delete your account. But I haven't had any problems with that. Like, I was gone for many years and they still had my account. Rocking and rolling. I think they only delete, like, accounts that are, like, are, like, low-level accounts or something. But I don't know, I wouldn't risk it. I'd, like, contact them, like, every, every couple months, be like, Yo, don't delete my account, I'm gonna be away for a while. <laughs> <laughs> all right i like the vibe to this this right here like this is all youtube uh copyright free music this is from the youtube library so i picked out the stuff that i actually like and this is the stuff i background music Oh, you got your sons to play on it? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, get, yourself nice, get yourself something nice. You are allowed to treat yourself. But yeah, I guess if you buy a new laptop, then you won't have the money to actually play the game. Yeah, I get, I get you. I understand. But we're at 376 points so far on our number two. But like I said, I mean, I'm going to be streaming a lot more often, so make sure you click the bell icon if you want to come hang out. Like, for realsies, click that bell icon. Get notified whenever I'm playing something random and come hang out. Because I'm going to need the support if I'm going to expand the audience to, like, try to get people to come and play Entropia with us. Right? Gotta expand the audience. And I need support for that. I try to ask the Fallout guys. They're, it's like... How, how many Fallout guys are in the chat right now? Anybody? See? The algorithm just pushes it to the, the right game audience. Every single time. And that's one of the biggest things. So I gotta like, drop the knowledge. And you gotta think, one out of 1,000 people will actually do do it. It's weird like that. I remember hearing this song off of the X-22 report. I used to listen to that guy a lot. Or, or maybe it's the... I don't, I don't know. But just going through the YouTube library is like, yo, I know people that use this in their, their videos. Ah, Darko, you gotta go, bro. Okay. Darko says, well, got to go. We drivers are on a nine hour break, nine hours drive and work. By the way, this is the first live thing you doing. I don't remember getting some Some before oh yeah make sure you just hit the, the bell icon man and you'll be just notified whenever things come up but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be trying to live stream a lot lately I really am just because I gotta fill my life 
with something other than just playing video games, like without people watching me, you know? I want to uh, record my gameplay. That way, like people like uh, like 200 years from now and be like, yo, let's go watch, let's go watch those old people from back in the day play video games because <laughs> who knows? YouTube might still be a thing, but video games might not be. <laughs> How could people sit in front of their screens? We have like Neuralink now. <laughs> you know, I, I really wouldn't mind playing some, some brain games like that. I just don't want to be connected to anything. Like, I want brain implants. But if you could do, like, some, like, uh... Some VR, like, things that you put in that affects your brain, that makes you think you're in it, that'd be dope. Like, uh, Sword Art, Sword Art Online. Have a, have a good one at work, bro. You are the backbone of society. Remember that. And I appreciate you. Because without you, we, we can't eat. Or, like, have things. For real. <laughs> Truckers, man. You gotta respect them. Or they won't bring you your shit. Remember. <laughs> I love this one. This is uh, Quincus Moria. And the title of this song is Ticklish. And I, I, I kind of like it. It's like a little, little, little baby just laughing. It's kind of cute. Robert R says, I just had a flashback to my USMC days when you said the backbone of. Yeah. Tip of the spear, baby. Don Adams says, my new PC will be provided for my caring and loving dog sitter and fa for family members. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Keep shooting. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. If you haven't liked the video, uh, do so now. Much appreciated. I have to. I have to do it. I have to. I have to just remind people. Cause ever since that one troll, he got under my skin just a little bit. He's like, "You got uh, 1,700 views and only 100 likes." I'm like, actually, that's pretty good for me. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want me to start asking for likes, cause I, you know me, I don't like doing that. It's like, if you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. But now I got to just ask, make sure people are doing it. All right. Uh, we really need some good loot. We haven't had a global yet in a while. Who's going to win? I I won. Uh, I keep 
forgetting that my face cam's on. Y'all can see everything. I was picking my nose and eating boogers a minute ago. Y'all saw that? Don't you dare look back. You better keep it on live. <laughs> Should rewatch it later. Ooh, booger boy. Vibe check, everybody. Now. I vibe hard to this. I really do. See, I would be like Mac and just do like a radio show where I just play a lot, lots of music and stuff. But then like, you can't like actually record it and leave it there. You have to delete it right after it happens. Or you'll get hit with copyright. It's weird how that works. And I like to have my stuff, like, archived. You know? And just have it archived, and it's, it's better that way. So I can be, like, remembered. So, like, whenever I do do stuff like that, it's just nice to have everybody watching it <laughs> while it's happening. But, like, I like having things archived so you can watch stuff later. Whenever at your own pace, whenever you want. But of course, this is it's just the same thing. Oh, somebody, Sunrise Daniel, nice. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen hundred. BD. Gained a temporary skill boost. 57%, so that's 157%. Are we really getting extra skills? Is that Chris Gobb? No. You're at 2k points? I'm only at 391. You might have started before me, but man. They just, they just don't like giving me anything good. You watched the first five minutes and jumped an hour to live? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I like starting off the, the videos with just the face cam. 
think I'm going to just start doing that. Uh, on the plus side, I got this going on. If anybody is, if anybody is actually interested, I got like four thousand five, forty-five thousand PD value and just random stuff. So that's a thing. I don't know if I'm supposed, to, uh, if I'm allowed to show that, but I just did. Who's going to say anything, huh? Who, who's going to snitch me out? Big numbers. <coughs> ah. Scratching my eyeballs. Shaman dressed. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't like these 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 things right here because they're, they're not actually crafted. Well, I mean, they're probably crafted, but like they're not like textured, right? You know, because nobody has a high enough texture skill. I know for a fact that Rufus does. Rufus Tarted Dexter has a really high cr uh, texture and coloring skill. I, I, I like that. Alright, something bad's happening. We gotta switch to the big gun. The Swine Deluxe, baby. Oh my god, shoot this damn thing. And don't stop. I miss my old thing where I could like actually see on the screen my face cam. That was pretty cool. But they went out of business. It was the Gamecaster. Now, now I'm just using Streamlabs. This is still pretty cool though. Yeah, buddy. Well, 82. 82, 88. Nice. Right there. Boom. This, this music right here puts me in a mood. A good mood. Tell you what, man, one hour of shooting the Swine Deluxe and I, I start crying because my pet card drains. You just got a 500 point drop, Brandon? I'm at 403. When are they gonna start giving me some, some good stuff? I want some points. How do I get points? I'm like fully decked out in pills and stuff.
Give me points. Brandon, I think the game really likes you. Don says, I'm working on Musil rank 15, trying for my fourth. Dominic's original Bulga adjusted. Oh. See, the game doesn't like me that much. Maybe it's because I do all the, the griefing and they're like, they put me on a list. I really think Mindark put me on a list to like, not make me so lucky. Maybe it's because back in the day I used to be kind of a socialist. It was like, man, you all should share with everyone else. I'm like, all right, well, we'll just put you down to share with everyone else. Like, damn it. Now they have money. <laughs> I'm on a list. My dark put me on a list. Oh, this guy's a communist. Guy, I used to be dumb. <coughs> like, really dumb. But being poor will make you dumb, man. But, I mean, everyone's, everyone's uh, eligible for character growth, I guess. do something. There. You like that? Drop a like. This is, this, ooh. Oh my god. I laughed a little. Get a little lightheaded. I, I guess it was funny. Drop a like. Hell yeah. <laughs> See, now I don't have to say it. It's on the screen. Ooh, yeah. Lots of hair. See, this is going to be a sad day when I go bald. If I go bald. It might not be in my future. I might end up with a head full of gray hair, though. Which I don't think is a bad thing. Unless it is, I don't know. <laughs> Just pew 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 pew. 
I'm more a rat a tat guy myself. We're reviewing every every single chat, we're monitoring everything. So it just flies by. You got another 500 points, Brandon? Damn, bro. I swear, whenever I get online, you always get all my luck. <laughs> or maybe you don't. I don't know. I don't know how this game works. But if I'm giving you my luck, though, if I am, then they chose the, the right person to give it to, I guess. I like when music like sends it through one headphone and then the other like stereo surround sound. All right, let me see if I can't do some of this work really quick. attention uh, oh boy looks like two buddies down Maybe they're fixing it. I'm trying to do the metadata, but now I'm gonna have to do everything by hand. That's not good. trouble aren't I no I'm fine I'm fine still rocking still rolling Jews AMD Jin? Oh man. Jews AMD Jin? Jin. Oh Lord, you just started. Good luck. Hey, it's Londo! Hey man. Hell yeah. I guess I could do some, some, some wild stuff here in a minute.
You can watch a Deeds and Shares Payout show while we're doing this. See if I if I can remember how to do this. Pull it more, pull it more, pull it more. Is this right? Pull it just a tad bit more. And just a tad bit more. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see, for getting something, video capture device. Oh, we can turn that on. Oh, that's too big. Let's, uh... Oh, it's not gonna let me move it, huh? I don't know why it doesn't let me move it. I got the window capture. Let's me move that. I remember I might need to just start all over and make this a whole different thing. Cause now all the loot's being like uh or we can just turn it the hell off. Dun 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 North Oakland Ecstasy. Let's see, we got the this is from the the last thing we did. All right, pause that out, and we're gonna go ahead and play. Provide the best news in the wasteland and in real life. It's griefing. It's a thing. Did wait? Did I just <laughs> get a good cap shot? I did. All right, we're he we're heading to the next one. You you can you can say it's not a six all you want. I'm telling you, that right there makes it a six. In total. All right, we are at next camp. It looks like a glass house. Uh, so hopefully whoever owns this house does not throw stones at me because I'm here to throw stones at them instead. Yes. This is how that works. Uh, okay, maybe not completely a glass house, but let's, let's walk on this glass. Hopefully it doesn't break. But uh, hopefully we can we can break in. Oh my, this just went from bad to worse. Where is the actual entrance to this camp? We'll call it here. This is how we get in. We've got Nuka Cola, got back at the bar, got this junky thing right here. Is a junk extractor. And uh, who owns this? This is Maya Mages camp. Maya Mages. It's a metal door. We're gonna open that. Oh, we got a wood pile, wood extractor. Ooh, ragstag wheat. Hopefully we can cook it before it goes bad. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you moved the camera too I, fast. I just get inside, honestly. That's griefing. We got work in here. We got this little area. We got the ammo storage things. Uh, he decorated this. You didn't say excuse so me. That's, That's griefing. All right, it looks nice in here. We got the good wallpaper. Got some good stuff. Got a little chandelier. When are they gonna let us like do something with the the, the ceiling? Ah, sporting some GNN. Go ahead and activate that because we was here. Yeah. Um. Nice sofa. Good kitchen. Very good kitchen. What does this thing do? Uh, probably nothing, but it looks cool. Why is there a gold vending machine in here? 
Well, probably because so they can put like alcohol in your thing to sell. Oh, look at this bathroom. It's very long. No, no decor. Is that a decoration? Can I can I open up the blinds? Do they have blinds now? Seven PD right there. Well, I guess there is a few little wall decorations. It needs like a mirror or something. Huh. All right, all right. It does look nice. It really does. And then we, then we're up here to the, the the glass house. I consider this pretty safe. It's fairly safe, unless you're really drunk. Um, I'm gonna sit there and watch watch the watch the fish tank. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Let's sit here and watch the fishies. God, people must be bored in post-apocalyptic Appalachia without the internet. I'm just you know, throw that out there. But I guess you do got a lot of comic books you can read. Tiptoe through the tulips. Not the soldiers you're looking for. Yeah. Okay. What's this for <gasps> Ooh. Alright, alright. These are a little bit more wall decoration, but I think they're probably at max budget. You could probably sacrifice these plants to get the max budget. And then you got the vault lobby shelter entrance. But we're not here for shelters, honestly. Let's see, let me turn that on. Yeah, lights work. Everything works. It just works. Like, like Tom, Tom Howard says. Um, hmm. If you guys are tired of it, I can stop. Six. I'll give it a six. It's actually pretty decent. I like it. Well, it, it, I can't. I can't honestly say it's like a seven though, because it just lacks a little bit of decoratives. And why can't I turn this and put this down? That just that that annoys me. Uh, no, it's just not. It's not seven. It's just not enough decoratives for my taste. But the collections are pretty good. Maybe six and a half. Six and a half. How about that? I'll go six and a half. That, that, that That's my final offer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Greetings and salutations, my fellow Entropians. It's that time You're again. You're enjoying the music? Oh, Shares yeah. Payout Show Weekly for Entropia Universe. It is March the 25th of 2024. And it's, it's actually... 2 16 p.m. for me but i mean we don't really need to go that far into detail of what the date is because it's a decent shares payout show weekly for entropy universe yay 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 uh where we're we gonna start today we are hanging out here at uh the noob noob central noob central that's right there are a lot of green dots here that need your help to become active members and players and active people in entropy universe that's right you got to teach these guys or they're just gonna go screw off somewhere else it's true you know it's true we all know it's true encourage them to deposit yeah, Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get into it yeah <laughs> i tried to do uh, that and like, you're like uh, i have one, no money two, three, like okay well then payouts for the arcadia know, exactly. underground one payout for the arcadia moon uh, there's a robot event going on on Kali, so it, it's to be expected. Let's go ahead and transfer it in. Check it out. We got the longitude latitude, and we got the PED flow going on. So we did it. We absolutely did it. Let's take a look at the uh, da, 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 and we will. Dun, 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 is this, and dun, 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 part two. Wait, hold on. You got to click this little thing to mark it in. And dun, 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 dun part two. All right, so we got uh, these these lovely dingle hoppers right here, hanging out, chilling. Eighty three for Arcadia Underground deeds. Is the price really dropping? Maybe. Uh, it, wait, it says uh, nineteen oh nine <coughs> for the week for Arcadia Moon. Yes, it is dropping, and fifteen for the day, sixteen for the day. Wow, three hundred. Wow. Yeah, prices are dropping. I don't know why. I have no idea. Uh, we're about to go into mayhem uh what was this is black screen yeah 
Uh, Mayhem in one day, 18 hours. That's right. Easter Mayhem will be starting. So uh, it's already started. Away from uh, the game, it's almost time to come back to do your Easter Mayhem. Yeah, that's right. We're doing Easter Mayhem this year. Oh boy, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be the excitement of the century. Pro probably at least the excitement for the year. Maybe, maybe summer's gonna be the excitement. Bay Rock, you're coming know. back in. I, I don't nice. know. Just enjoy yourself while you, while you still have life, while you still eat and breathe and poop. Enjoy yourself. And if you're having trouble doing any of those, I'm sorry. Moving on, we're going into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, moving on, we're going into the shares. We're just we're just barreling past through everything. Ancient Greece, did you not pay out last week either? And you didn't pay out this week? Well, it's probably because everyone's on Cali. How about that? Um, is that affecting your market price? It is just a little bit, not too much. 1993 is the biggest glut to it. And then you probably got, uh, yeah, this is 1993 PED. There you go. Um, sorry, sorry for your loss, Ancient Crease, but uh, I don't know. Everyone's on Cali. No. You know, there's motherships out there that will give you a ride. You know, you can always like get your own quad wing and just fly out somewhere. But. Uh, you know, you know what? Just keep paying me out here around the Cali, Cali and stuff. All right. Calypso Landy Trust. We got uh, 37.10 PED for 500 units. So we are we are on the 37 through uh, 37 through 37.50. I'm going to give this an accurate estimate um, of what's going on here. And yeah, 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 pretty, pretty much, pretty much. Who, who's selling two of these for 70, 73? You're a bonehead. Stop doing that. You're wasting money. And honestly, you really are. Um. Okay. Well, it looks like it paid out. <laughs> Called someone a bonehead. No, paid out three. <laughs> paid out three. Paid out three peck per share. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in our pocket. Crystal Palace Space Station remains to be. Oh, it doesn't. It no longer remains to be. It it is dropping in price. It is eleven fifteen. <coughs> Looks like this is going to be the next uh, new treasure island. Uh, it, it, it just appears to me that uh, there's just not enough money pumping into the shares in the deeds. And a lot of money leaving. Probably. I don't know. Because they keep lowering the price, so they want to sell it. So it is what it is. I guess a lemonade water combo. So I'm going to take a sip. A dry mouth and all. Mmm. That sounds delicious right through a straw that sounds really not? good I need to wash 15. my cup all right it's been days up to 12 and 13 this is the highest price available for, for crystal palace basis now crystal palace and new treasure island are both big deals because they're actually all player owned at this point from, from what i understand they're probably all player owned so that means that uh that's the price of the street uh, ancient Greece has still got a lot that's that's uh, owned by uh, Ancient Greece, so uh, next island. So that that's that's just sad that it, that price is low. But uh, New Crystal Palace and New Treasure Island both owned by players, and if it's go if it goes low, it, it's on us. It's not really not really my dark's problem, in my opinion, but it kind of is because things. Are, Things are going wonky, but it paid out one peck per share, which is uh, on par for the usual. So we're going to put that in our pocket. New Treasure Island, one peck per share. And it looks like we're at 824, <coughs> 825, <coughs> 828 is, has a pretty big glut on it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And uh, yeah. I don't think it would take too much to shake it up to, to move this up a little bit more, but it has moved from this from 790 or something uh, up to 824. So it looks like we've found uh, a nice little floor 
for New Treasure Island, and uh, just have really no place else but up for it to go, honestly. But it might go back down. I, I, I'm not uh, uh, one of those fortune tellers anymore. Um, so I don't, I can't tell you the future. I can only tell you that uh, I, I like buying these things, especially when they're cheap. And I think it's going to pay out for me if it ever goes back up. So you take with that information what you will. And that's probably why I have almost 6,000 of these things. Which is really kind of wild because I have not been pumping too much money into it. I've just been buying every single week with these and shares income. For the most part. So once you get a good bankroll going up in these shares, you can reinvest. And then next thing you know, boom, boom. So hopefully if this goes back up to 10, I'll be rolling pretty with $6,000. That I could probably sell back. But uh, probably not going to. Yeah. Honestly, as long as, as long as I'm still healthy, I will continue to become wealthy. And uh, I don't know if that's wise, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just say it is. And we're going to transfer that through and through. 165 so far. And Triton Industries, yo, okay, I don't even care about the price. I'm not going to be buying these things until they come back out. And hopefully they sell up for 10 honestly. But, you know, my dark might not do that. They might just, like, sneak it in at 1447 and undercut every single time at the current market rates. I don't know. I don't know what my dark's plan on doing. But uh, I wouldn't put it past them. But, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, it pay paid out double. So we all should have probably bought a lot more. But we didn't, and they took them away. Whatever. Them's how the cookies be crumbling. Dude, you just got a thousand points? In, uh, in Tropia Universe. I still got 581. And, uh, about these green dots, guys? Um, if you want to. You but grats. To. You don't have to listen to me. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, uh, if My you jealousy is to grants enough. like the video... And share it out to all your Entropia Universe buddies and uh, the society worldwide. And uh, let them know that uh, I appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe eh, is what I'm trying to say. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you want to watch some uh, other content that I make also, make sure you click the bell icon. Um, I'm really not going to push you too much on that because I know once somebody gets set in into playing just one game that's all they want to see so i understand that completely and entropia is really really quite the exception uh it's no exception like you, you messed up other games because you guys really love entropia and i do too that's why i make a video every week oh my god and take breaks and come back and just blow things up during easter mayhem which starts in one day 18 hours from i don't know right what to now. do now so you keep that in mind. You do you. You do you. I'll do me. Like, share, subscribe again in case you. All right. Uh, this is. Uh... This is me doing the uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> it's so loud. Yeah, it is. Options, audio. Maybe four. It's so loud. It's 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 the music. All right, so we got the. Hold on. Uh. Final Fantasy Seven Re. Or, or, it's, I want to play Rebirth so bad, but it's PlayStation working. exclusive. I'm trying to make it work. <sighs> Turn that off. Oh god! It now it's too dark. We got Final Fantasy. No, I bought all the Final yeah, Fantasies, man. I beat this game back in the day. Almost all of them. I'm probably missing when a I couple. Was a teenager. It, was, it, was, it was fun. All right. Um, so I guess we're gonna get started. <coughs> I mean, watching another stream that I've done while doing a stream though. on Easter Mayhem, it just it 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 makes sense because like we're just doing the same thing over and over. Yeah. So now I'm reacting to my uh, uh, my stream. Is, why is the thumbnail so weird? All right. 
Sometimes it takes a minute. Oh, heck yeah. I guess we can get ah, started. Ah, 14 PED. Almost 15. What camera controls would I like? To, uh, I would like to just play the game. W whatever default is. Um. I actually played the first chapter over in hard mode without recording it, and I did it. I, I made it past you the first fully, boss. Or the player I died the once. Will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on executing commands. I, I don't know. And hard mode doesn't have the you want to experience battles the classic well mode. Story. So it makes it I harder. Don't, I don't know. We'll just do normal. Is it going to be like I got to like <coughs> do everything? What is, what is all this? I guess I could lower this just a little bit. Alright, it seems pretty interesting so far. <laughs> Ooh! So this must be Midgar, huh? I real I will be doing Final Fantasy VII the original as well. I just gotta like I have too many games that I, I just gotta I just gotta do it. It's gonna be random. We're, we get live streaming for the rest of the year. Yo, Bacon. Two reasonable guys. Hey, man. All right, so I actually beat this game once upon a time. Yeah, but, uh, this is like the remake, so we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. I heard stories that they're not gonna like put the next step. Not they're not gonna put it on the PC. It's gonna remain a PlayStation exclusive. Like, come on, dude. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take my time with the original. The the new it's ones that are that came out, they're like. You know, I'm not trying to buy there's no taking your time with them. It, 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 they go too fast. Well, not really fast, actually. See, the thing is, like, it just makes me so mad. Is like, I know, I know this girl's fate. But I'm not gonna say anything. Apparently, it's an alternate timeline for these new games. So she might end up living. I don't know. Wow. What's up, Brandon? Brandon. Oh, guys. Oh, no. How are you going to just do that? You know, knock over some poor girl's flat. Then you're just going to step on it? I know, right? That's... Man, people are so damn rude. And she didn't say a damn word about it. I saw the the English voice actress like start crying because she was like in this game. <laughs> yeah, she got casted. Which I mean to be fair. And she started crying when she I got mean, the that, role. That, that's pretty cool, because, like, this game is, like, massive. Yeah, it's a big deal. I mean, you get to voice act for, Bacon, like, one of the most beloved wrong. characters in gaming. In the Final Fantasy series. So Final Fantasy VII is a big fucking deal, man. I just hope I don't have to grind as hard as I did in the first game. Thank you, Brandon, for showing up in streams. The Golden Chocobo grabbing the knights of the round 
Making sure everybody had mime skills. And I still couldn't beat one of the major bosses. The ultimate weapon. This game is so massive I had to put it on my D drive instead of my C drive. Yeah, yeah, it's like 80 something gigabytes. So it might have some some jumpy jumpy issues. <coughs> I just put it at 60 frames per second. Uh oh. Oh, get wrecked. Oh! That's gotta hurt. Hell yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, these guys are, are freaking terrorists. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god. How? Who goes there? You're up. Alright. Oh you have to Oh dude, that's gonna be hard for me. Alright. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Not bad. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, is you're not dead yet. You need to die. Warming up, winning a battle. I'm now level seven. So this is a command menu. Okay. I didn't lose any health, so I'm good. Is there like a, a pause menu? Oh, there's no menu. Learning the game. There's no menu. Inventory management. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm still running at 1080. I'm really thinking about getting a new PC. Have fun. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Uh, ATB gauge fills. Okay, I remember the ATB gauge. Go ahead. Uh, press A to use one of the commands. Abilities. Braver. Soldier operator. Dude, I would have already shot me by now. Why do you suck? Oh, dude, this looks so cool. Ah, uh, now we're getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checking data out of battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You was using 1080 before you upgraded. Oh yeah. I really, really, I, you, you guys all know I'm saving up money, but uh, there, there is a good chance that uh, I'm, I'm going to be saving my money just to get a new new, new computer. It, although this computer still works. Drop the weapon. You got this. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> I like it because he's big boned. Uh, right bumper to guard or B to evade. You're coming with us. Can't get. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh man, sneezes. All right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right. You scared you? I'm sorry. I'm one of those. I gotta, I gotta like collect them all. But look at all this. This looks pretty good. 1080 can still play games. Good, it is. Yeah. I, I do, I do like the 1080 card. It's pretty good. All right, open chests. All right. Oh. Two potions. Let's go. Ah, here we go. I'm really hoping that uh, they'll like release the other one for PC. 
by the time I finish this. Yeah, good luck. Alright. So is there any more? They all like to mess around. I just keep looking around. Alright, they're just slowly like easing me into it. Oh man, everybody's leaving. Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> yeah. This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, You're building a lot of your skills, Brandon? Hell yeah, me too. Okay. I guess people don't like Final Fantasy VII. I think people want to play it. They I want like to play how, like, it more than they, they want to watch it. The option to change people's names. I, I guess I guess means that nobody likes it. We'll just go back to not doing anything. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to this. <laughs> Ooh, got some points on that. 815 is what we're up to. I can still vibe like this, you know? I just thought it'd be like react to our own videos and stuff I don't know I think Scotty's been doing some uh, he's been doing some stuff Dog's upset. I gotta check on it. Start shooting. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, there we go. That's that's some going on. So we got uh, some Scotty C93 videos that have come out. Bebos and pigeons. Do you still talk about pigeons? All right, let's see. What's up, lads and ladettes? How are we all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to the 2024 uh, hunting series, which is going to be fun. Now, th this is going to be a daily video. Um, Ooh. You know, as long as it does well, and it usually does do well. So it's going to be a daily video. Um, because I know a lot of you guys enjoy watching this stuff or listening to this stuff when you're playing or having a coffee or whatever. Yes. So I will be setting up a playlist, um, for, you know, people that want to watch the 2024 hunting. I'll be setting up a playlist. It will be coming out daily. It will probably be coming out at around about the same time. Um, but, uh, yeah, so look yes. forward to that. So what these videos are going to consist of is me... Uh, using about 50 PED up to well, between 50 and 100 PED 
using whatever weapon I think is good for the situation. And then I'm going to be hunting specific mobs, um, you know, for the day. And it's just going to be a little fun, you know, 15, 20 minute video where we all get to chat and hang out. Which is uh, what we're going to get into Hell yeah. right now. And I think we're going to get pretty... Yeah, we're going to have to move a little bit up this way. Because we don't have... We got a lot of these Combibo Youngs. And yeah, well, today we're going to be hunting Combibos. I think... But I want to hunt uh, some of the slightly th bigger Combibos, which there I think are generally up this way. Oh, looks like there's someone else out here hunting as well. Very nice. We love Ludius. I like Good background music now. So I'm going to be doing just to. a... You know, stock standard hunt. Which is... It, it, it's... It's, it's like the bare bones basics when it comes to um, Entropia content, but it seems to be the content that most people enjoy watching the most. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, some people like the, you know, they like the learning stuff, they like, you know, all, all that stuff, but a lot of people, they just really like just the straightforward, stock standard hunting videos, which I yes. can respect. You know? I love watching those as well. Like, one of my, um... <laughs> Uh, every so often I'll go back and like re-watch some of Serial Overdrive's videos or I'll go back and I'll watch um, some of Law Spades hunting videos. Ooh, shout out! You know, it's just fun, you know? Every so often I'll like binge watch, um, I think it was Law Spades. I don't know, I think it was like his Halloween Mayhem from like years ago. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just, it's just fun, you know? It's just a good bit of fun. And uh, I'm hoping with these guys, um, I can get some of the um, boar armor at some point in the future. Uh, but, you know, we're going to be doing this, not hunting these guys daily, but I'm going to be having like a roster of mobs that I want to hunt, that I want to grind out. And I figured, you know, giving myself this hunt each day will let me blow off some steam in game, you know, because there's like, a yeah. lot of... I've tried to like come up with different things that I can do, like uh, video wise, entertainment wise, and all that sort of stuff. And I need I to decide, do the daily videos just, again. You know, stop trying to be all fancy schmancy. Why don't I stop trying to fit? You know, don't fix what ain't broke. Right? You know? Don't fix what ain't broke. 48 PD and right making there. Making hunting videos, you know, doesn't need fixing because it's straightforward. And it is a little bit of a vlog. You know? Yeah. I get to talk about stuff, right? Like today. Today I had a I had a nice little interesting situation. Um, my my puppy, my new puppy, uh, Coco, had chased a little little pigeon, little female pigeon, into the chicken coop. Scared the absolute piss out of the um, pigeon, right? But um, in doing this, right, she had knocked over over the uh, like the chickens hatching air, like the chickens uh, laying area um, inside of the enclosed chicken run sort of thing. She had knocked it over with the chickens inside, right? Smashed an egg, but you know the chickens were all good. No, oh, that's good. But um, <laughs> I didn't know that it had happened until um, I'd looked outside and seen that it had been knocked over because I heard my kid go. On. Oh, the chickens, the chicken coop has been knocked, like, has been knocked over or is tipped over. So I look outside, I'm like, oh yeah, so it has. So it has indeed, young Padawan. <laughs> so I decide, okay, let, let's, let's go and make sure they're not dead, for starters. <laughs> and then I just see this little, I see this little pigeon, like, chillaxing there, right? Now, I love pigeons, bro. They're, they're, they're one of my favorite birds. Just, in, in general, they're one of my favorite birds. I don't know why. I think it kind of stems Who's back to... talk about pigeons in his um, Stardew Valley video, too? My primary school, where we had, like, lots of pigeons around, but they were, like... They were all, like, fancy colors, and they were friendly. And they weren't scared of the kids or anything like that. They were good. They were, they were good pigeons, you know. And I was, and I helped this one pigeon, and I was holding it, and I'm like, I could so just keep you, you know. 
I could just put you into. I could just keep you for myself. And I'm like, no, no, I can't do that. Got to let you roam free and wild. You know? Those Combibos look evil now. And all that sort of crap. But it was that specific incident today that has made me realize that I one day want to live out in the country and I want to pee John Air. <laughs> I want to be able to have lots of pigeons because I think, you know, very nice pigeons would be... They just look nice in the local area, you know, because I like pigeons. Especially the ones when they've got, like, different colours and... It's just really nice. I, and, and I think, you know... I think pigeons get a bad rap, you know? <laughs> what? I think pigeons just get a really bad rap from Yeah, they're, they're like for, dirty uh, birds, bro. You know, being dirty or whatever, but... Yeah, exactly. Really they're dirty. Clean, you know? No, they're not. They're dirty. And it's funny, a lot of people think that pigeons are dirty because you see them in the city. Like a lot of them in the city and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Call them, you know, feather rats and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But I mean, we we live in cities as well. Oh yeah. We live in cities and suburban neighborhoods. Like that's what we made. Are I... we dirty? Yeah. We're Some pretty of dirty us are. too. You know. But like, we're dirty. Pigeons aren't that bad. I love pigeons. So, they like, carry disease. Do you guys have a specific animal that you really love that uh, other people like might not like? I like chocobos. Like, at all. You know, like, I love spiders, and I love rats, and mice, and pigeons. You know, I love lizards and snakes. Oh, God, no. I also love cats and dogs. I love most animals. Yeah. You know? Well, most people do. But there are just certain ones where that really, um... I like you know, snakes. They got, a, they got a special spot in my heart. I hate snakes. Not in like a Nikola Tesla kind of way. Because Nikola Tesla, he, he had a pet pigeon and he said, I love that pigeon as a man loves a woman. What? And no, no, my dude. No. I love pigeons <laughs> as well. Not that much. You know, I, I, I would not, uh, you know, I would not put a ring on a pigeon. I would not, uh, you know. Yeah. Pigeons are birdies. Leave the birdies be. Let the birds do bird things. Yeah, don't don't but, fuck uh, pigeons. You can love bad. them, though, but just not like that. Yeah, don't you know? fuck pig pigeons. Not like that. It's not okay. I agree with Scotty. I reckon there's going to be someone out there that <laughs> has like a really obscure animal that they just really love. Yeah, and that's going to be today's like. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a little. Uh, Let's say like a competition, right? Oh, he's doing a competition. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do like a little daily competition, right? For these, uh, I'm uh, you know I'm gonna steal uh, how ridiculous is contest. What? Right? Um, you tell me what animal is like your favorite or the, the animal that you love that you think is weird. You know, give a really cool reason why. And if you're like my favorite. You know, then then I'll pin your comment, and then I'll read it out in um, like the next daily video, or I'll read it out like a few videos later, right? Yeah, he hasn't done that yet. I'll, I'll I'll do that, and that could be really fun, you know. Like it could be really really fun. Maybe. Uh, and that could add a little bit of extra spice to these videos, you know, a little bit of extra. Uh, community-esque um if you love stuff, chinchilla you need to go to scotty's more, channel and tell him you know us chatting about random stuff us chatting about different things and enjoying you know each other's company which i think could be a really cool thing you know like i might talk about like you know food tomorrow or i might talk about something else tomorrow and i'll probably you know come go, up with go something. tell him Yeah, yeah. I think that could be quite fun. What do you guys think? You know, do you think that sounds like a little bit of uh, fun for the? Tell them I sent you. Like our <laughs> respective days. Do you think that could be come a nice little tradition in the 2024 or just the hunting videos in general? 
He's spitballing. Because I think it could be, I think it could be an absolute, an absolute hoot. Yeah. Know? Hoot hoot. I like owls. I'm surprised I haven't seen any fruit or anything around. Because I, I tend to see them around, like fruit and stuff around here. But that dude was over here before. So, you know, he could have nabbed up the fruit for all I know. He could have done. He might have done. So it looks like we've got like a few more shots in us. We haven't, we didn't get anything really wow. Um, but it is also an awkward time of day for uh, me. You know, I always tend to, I always tend to do better like loot wise at around four or five. And right now it's like nearly 10 PM. So, you know, it is what it is. Like genuinely it is what it is. So you might also be thinking, what what is the video schedule going to be like? Um, video schedule is essentially going to be... Um, you'll have awesome. an Entropia video. And then you'll have... Thanks, Jen. Like, so you'll have an... Inch, like, I'll release this video probably at around midnight my time. And then I'll have a Stardew Valley video uploaded and ready to go for around about you know six in the morning something like that and then there'll be a valheim video hopefully tomorrow um at around about probably at around about like two o'clock my time so you know they'll be i'm going to spread them out like hopefully at a, like, at a decent sort of stretch. And there's also going to be, like, shorts for, you know, Valheim and Stardew Valley. There's not really any shorts that you could really do for Entropia Universe, though. So, you know, it is what it is. So what we're going to do is we are going to... We're going to head back. And we're going to check out what we got. Which How's this is this Not really much. But this stone extractor isn't too bad, you know? Stone extractor ain't too bad. Uh, we're probably coming back with about... I'd say around about 40 PED worth of um, goodies. So, 80%. Right, I'll meet you guys back at the thingy. Alright, let's get on Global shorts here. is good. Get a, get a good reading. And yeah, I think it's around about... I think it's around about 40 PED, which is nice, you know. I'm only counting the the, the, the ammo used. I'm gonna I'm gonna view my uh, weapon usage as like um, investing into my skills. That's that's how I'm gonna rationalize that in my brain. Yeah, you know? that's a good rationalization. <laughs> you, how got I'm gonna rationalize. you gotta do that. So let's have a look. Forty-one point seven eight. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that, you know, because it's just a small amount, you know. It's a, it's a small amount, and like things will, there's gonna be a time where it's like more. It'll average out at some point, you know. It tends it tends to average out, which is nice. Um, we got some hairspray. We got some basic stone extractors. Those are good. Yeah, we got a. Interactive simplifier component. I don't know what those Fair do. Enough. And then we got the, the standard sort of garbage sort of material stuff that we will eventually use for crafting. But I'm going to be leaving it there, lads and ladettes. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you know. And yeah, what's your favorite weird animal? Yeah. Tell me in the comment section. And if it's my favorite, I'll, uh, I'll pin it and then talk about it in a future video. You'll take care. Stay safe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. What should I name the, the, the animal that's super weird? Hmm. It's all sorts of stuff. Ending the squatter scam. Oh, gosh. Oh, what's this? Whoa. So today's topic is, can you make money actually playing Entropia? Eh, it's kind of a loaded question.
So if you don't want to put any money in the game at all, <laughs> you can sweat kind of like I'm doing. And it's long, tedious, relatively boring. But you can get something out of it. A thousand bottles of sweat. I think goes for like yeah, a that's pay, pretty loud. Maybe one point five. <laughs> And it'll take you this is from three weeks ago. An hour and a half, I'm sure, depending on where you're at. To T. Logan, 94. Because it sells for a thousand bottles per. Unleash the money making um, potential. Again, really boring, kind of tedious. As you can see, I still haven't gotten any here. Okay, now I got some. So I got four bottles. I need a thousand for a ped. So if you did not ever want to put any money in, in theory, you could do this. You could save up money, you could begin to trade, buy deeds, it's possible, but you've got a long road ahead of you. Um, your other option would be to deposit. And you can deposit, you can trade, um, I've done that, you know, trade your money. The only downside is, is automatically my dark takes a percentage of that, so... You're already starting off in the negative. Not really. Uh, but it's possible. I mean, you can trade apartments, trade resources, you can trade muscle oil, these extractors, all sorts of stuff. People will buy it. Um, some things take longer than others. Some have a better return than others, just like everything else in the world. Um, your other option that I mentioned is investing. You can invest in deeds. Um, see so that's an apartment I wouldn't really consider that an investment um, but you can invest in deeds so you come to the market here say you want to do it a little at a time you can buy I mean these. some people they do that's what they're going for right now 36 they definitely uh, like pedicles. rehash old topics of course so, I mean you can buy those um, we'll look at the graph here and then Let's a lot of people will comment they reset all this so it may not have great data so for the year, Dennis sign off in there. Um, this is fix the breathing sound, please. <laughs> to where it's Mew Mike wasn't aware of that sensitive. Yeah. One. So they did. Split. <laughs> fix the breathing. But when you do this, this is relatively steady. I know it looks. Drastic, He's breathing right in it. It's always hovered around this mark. They do go up slowly over time, but what you're really looking for is the weekly return that you could use to either invest in something else, such as trading or other deeds, or you can actually use it to play the game. Um, that's kind of what I'd recommend if you have deeper pockets. Give me a second. I would invest in deeds and just use that to play. That way, all your money you spend on the games up front, you can always sell the deeds and, you know, do whatever else you want. Um, but... You know, let's say you put in a large sum of money into CLDs and all you did was play with those weekly returns. If you do end up hitting a global or a HOF or something, then, you know, that's all money in the bank. Yeah, it's from your returns, but it's kind of on the house. You didn't have to do a whole lot for it. Um, the other thing is some people, they, they figured this game out, you know, they do the... Um, migrations and the mayhems and whatnot and they just figure out a way to make money hunting I haven't been that lucky not to say it's not possible but I just haven't had the luck with that um, same with mining you know I'll have mining runs where right, I'm back I'm back I break even and I'll have some mining back. runs where I'm a little ahead and then I'll have other mining runs like my last video about. Where why is he whispering into his mic so I don't much, know but, um, at the end of the day, you just gotta remember you are playing a game, and if you spend 10, 20 bucks here or there. Oh my god, he's breathing that, right into it. You know, <laughs> so different than paying a subscription to World of Warcraft. Only difference here is you can actually chip out the skills and you can sell the skills at the end of the day when you're done playing the game. Um, so, if you're asking if you should play this game, I would recommend it. Um, if you're asking if it's profitable, well that depends, you know. So, if you want to play the game, probably not so much. If you want to turn it into another job. The mic is up his nose. 
Yeah. Uh, with the caveat being, if you have <laughs> pockets, invest it in the game, and you can have the best of both worlds. So, that's my short video for the day. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. I'm going to go ahead and drop a like on that. Hey, there I am. Mmm. Haters don't want you skilling. Also, what is grinding? Hello, and welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. Happy to have all the Stevies with me today. Finally got a day off from my real life commitment and wanted to take <laughs> time to make a video, give you guys some good information that will help you play Entropia Universe and just discuss the basic goings on. So, first of all, guys, to all the Stevies out there, thank you for all the support, love, all the... Yeah, instead of eating or going to McDonald's, go, or going to... Say, okay, hold on. Instead of eating at McDonald's or going to a casino, play Entropia. <laughs> yeah, it's Stevie B from three years ago. It says, the haters don't want you skilling. Also, what is grinding? Private messages I'm getting, and thank you so much to all the haters. So, guys, just to let you know... I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. The haters ju don't just hate me for the smacks and the spits and putting the videos out. They hate y'all. They want y'all to actively quit skilling. What? So the other day I was skilling on the Cronin and I got a message from somebody and they said, hey, you know, I'm trying to heal people at Zykeon and people see your video and they come here to get free defense skills and it's screwing with our ability to hunt and our ability to heal. Can you do something about it? What? I was like, well, yeah, I don't mind coming by and telling people to respect hunters and healers. First of all, guys, if you're going to Zykeon to skill defense skills, that's fine. Why do you go? Remember, why do you encourage people to go there and do that? That's stupid. Grats, Brandon. Yeah, get grief by Stevie B. I guess it's a grief, you know, whatever to wait at least 30 to 45 seconds between the time you revive and the time you die again. Also keep in mind that the multipers do go dry and stop giving points. So you want to change them out every now and then. Take them to the turret. But very, very importantly, if there's high level players that are hunting or healing, stay out of their way. Especially when it comes to the drones and the drone elites. Once you aggravate those things, they have a huge aggravation radius, like 250 meters or something like that. So try and stay completely away from those. Try and stay more yeah, or less to the multiple. They don't want you time. grinding those sweet defense so skills said, at Zachy on The guy's Citadel. like, well, yeah, but can you just take you're the in the way. Down? I was like, <laughs> you're kidding me. The video that brings in more people to Entropia than anything else you want me to take down? Get the fuck out of here, dude. So, obviously, I put this person on the ignore list. So here's what's interesting. So I'm Yeah, don't, don't, don't ever ask me to take down a video. <laughs> Once it's up, it's up. I agree with Stevie on that. Get the fuck I'm out of here. Looking around, <laughs> and I see that somebody has a fat for sale. Now it just so happens that this is somebody who happens to be one of my competitors, and I look, and the person who asked me to take down the Zykeon video has the exact same fat for sale. So these are the only two of these oh, types of fats that they have for sale at the moment but it's one by my competitor and one by this ass hat that asked me to take the video down that helps out so many new players so i look <laughs> and i look at the markup and this fap has always gone for like plus 400 ped plus 350 somewhere in there and the last month there was one that sold for plus 1500 in the past week there was one that sold for plus 3500 now, what all is of a sudden, both about? these people are asking plus 3,500 for this fat that's worth maybe plus 3 to plus 400. Hmm, could it be that somebody has an alternate account, maybe? <laughs> could it be? No, because I don't know anybody that would make an alternate account. Surely not one of my Get paranoid with Stevie B. <laughs> it, it, it's absolutely amazing. And the only thing I can relate it to, guys, is when I sit here and make these videos, when I sit here and play... I just naturally kind of have a tendency to believe that everybody who plays Entropia is more or less like me, right? Okay. But the reality of it is, if you guys have ever seen the South Park episode about World of Warcraft, where they're all sitting in Cartman's basement, <laughs> and they get fat, and they're pooping in buckets, 
uh, trying to get the, the magic sword in Warcraft. That is probably the reality of what probably a solid half of Entropia players' lives are. What? Um, I forget Yeah, that. maybe. I, I forget <laughs> that I'm not an MMO person. In fact, this is the first and only MMO RPG I have literally ever played in my entire life. It's the only PC game I have ever played in my entire life. You're like me more so than Stevie B. Good. That I'm not necessarily. That's, you're so chill, bro. <laughs> what the average Entropian <laughs> might be in real life, and the sad fact is, we have people like this out there. Not only do we have haters, we have Stevie B's the art bell of Entropia. They will manipulate the market. That's not bad. They will blatantly lie to, to other players about stuff, and they're just not ethical. And it, it, such is the nature of the beast. I had actually told you guys in a previous video that I've recently taken up a different game. It is not a PC game. It is also not a console game. It is also not a game game. I know, very interesting, right? So yeah. part of the reason I did that was I can't be on 18, 20 hours a day due to real life commitments. However, this particular, um, I'm gonna call it again, this particular game, I can practice 18 to 20 hours a day while fulfilling my real life commitment. What game is it, bro? So it's something you can't I've just leave us hanging. It's something I've, I've got the time to practice, so I figured why not. It's also something that has the ability to give me the kind of money and income from the time I invest that I really need out of something. Um, Entropia makes me decent money, but it's, it's never going to fully compensate me for the kind of time and effort I have to put in. It but makes some it's money. better than wow. playing a game like WoW where you don't make anything, right? So that being said, guys, I am not. Really I don't even know if I'm making money in this game. You guys, what it is, but some of you, my very Honestly. very close friends, will know, and maybe we'll even get to play someday together at some point. So that being said, guys, I want to because all my money goes to Brandon after that long five minute introduction <laughs> about what it really means to grind, because this is something that I looked at long and hard recently, and it's something that I think new players and even seasoned players do not understand. You'll notice that I'm hunting exosaurs, exosaur young, harvesting those blazer fragments like I always talk about. And you'll notice that I'm currently ranked 10 in Codex. Now when I started playing, this was my three first years batch ago. of exosaurs, we didn't have Codex. There was also no iron mission for exosaurs, you just had to do it to do it. There was no kind of great skill game. Oh, Rhino! Just naturally We're in Con de la Rhino! And of course, hey. Codex helps. This is Rhino rich? But the thing about it is, guys, I realized the other day, I have never truly been able to grind away in Entropia. And if I've never been able to do it, then I guarantee you the vast majority of people watching this video have not Stevie been able B to probably do it. got his 100% so from the VA. I mean. Whenever we're talking Who about knows? grinding, whenever we're talking about loot returns, we're talking about huge, huge, huge numbers. So the best example I can give you guys is Messi. Uh, most of you know that Messi is one of the, right if of not the, the highest level players in the game. He's got the unique Sacrificial Dagger, which has like an amazing 94% efficiency. I wish I could get my hands on it. Ah, um, don't we Messi, all? If you ever retire, please hit me up. I'd love to have it. So Messi's been playing for a couple years now, pretty well known. Any of you who know anything about him or have seen him log in and out, you know this guy hunts pretty much 24 hours a day. And I'm not making that number up. I've literally seen timestamps where he has gone on 26, 27 hour runs at a time. And I'll be the first to admit, I believe that he's got one or two friends that help him because nobody can do the kind of the amount of grinding he does without sleep. But I understand why. With that dagger, his goal is to cycle as much ped as possible to get as many sellable items with markup as possible. You're talking about a guy who probably aims to cycle a couple of million ped a day if possible. Uh, or million ped oh a week God. minimum, I'm sure. <laughs> Guys, when you log in and you hunt for 20 minutes, that is not properly cycling ped. When, when you log in and you hunt for three hours, that is not properly cycling ped. The closest I have ever got to a proper ped cycle is mayhem. Okay. Whenever I've yeah. got to do those 10, 15, 20 hour runs where I've got to have a kill every five to six seconds, that is the closest I've ever gotten to proper cycling. And there's a reason why I usually come out pretty good in those runs. It's I'm giving myself long enough Dude must have a lifetime supply of diapers to, to do that. Yeah, probably. To even out my TT returns. 
I'm also in there. For Real life comes I'm first, especially bowel movements. Tokens. I'm trying to get those boxes. I'm trying to get those output amplifier components. And over a large enough run of 10, 15, 20 you gotta stand hours up every once in a while, you know? seconds, then I'm going to get enough of those that the markup is going to make a difference. Markup on a couple of blazer fragments is not going to make a difference. Not in my life. Uh, yeah. Markup on, um, you know, million or three million blazer fragments might make a difference in my life. Markup on a hundred million blazer fragments is definitely going to make a difference in my life, right? So those are the kind of things when, when the pros, when the real Ubers like Messi talk about grinding, it, the the stuff that we refer to. I think to he as actually has like almost comparable like skills to me. For them. They laugh at or it. better. They're, when they're talking about kills, they're talking about hundreds of thousands. He definitely of has grinded time. a lot, and there's a reason. Most of what you get back in your loot is going to be shrapnel. A very very small part of your loot is going to be sellable items, whether it's limited items, unlimited items, or stuff like uh, blazer fragments, nova fragments, uh, cloth extractors. That's going to be a very very but small I take portion breaks, of your loot. You know? So you have to cycle hundreds of thousands of kills, hundreds of thousands or millions of ped in order to get a big enough stack for the markup to really reveal itself. But it will, and this has been proven time and time again. So if you're playing on a couple dollar budget, I understand, and more power to you. Enjoy the game, learn yes. the game. But guys, if you're really wondering how do these guys do it, there's gotta be something going on I'm missing. What you're missing is you're falling into the trap I fall into. You're thinking of your own scale. Like, I think of other people watching my videos as being similar to me in real life, and most of them are not. You're thinking that your hunting scale is most people's hunting scale. Imagine what your returns would be like if you were to literally grind away on the same mob and make a kill every five seconds, all day, every day, for 15 straight days. You'd have a huge pile of shrapnel, but imagine good how big sometimes. that pile of blazer fragments would be. Imagine how big that pile of output amplifiers or paint cans would be. Now calculate the markup on that in your head. They don't have people to that's refund other games yet. Yeah. Guys, when we talk about real true grinding, that's what we're talking is hundreds of thousands. So rank 1 through 26 is nothing in a, in a situation like that. The codex, it's a nice little bonus, but it's literally nothing when you're talking hundreds of thousands of kills. So why have I not been able to do it? Well, I made a stupid mistake early on. Oh, I decided this? I wanted to win Mayhem. And when I did. Oh, yeah. And the problem is, now I have placement tokens. And now, in order to redeem my prize, I need tens and tens and tens and hundreds of thousands of regular Mayhem tokens yeah. to go with them. <laughs> yeah. So for the foreseeable future, and for the past year and a half, almost two years now, uh, I have been stuck competing in every single mayhem, trying to grind out <laughs> as many tokens as I can. It's a choice I made, and it's something I'm going to stick with, but it causes a problem. Because it yeah, means that I cannot tokens. just go out and start hunting and hunt 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, because I would cap out of my category so quickly as to make it completely Old school mayhem, man. And mayhem I'm glad they be changed profitable it. for me to continue doing it. So that said, I want you guys to really think about whenever you hunt, or whenever you mine, or whenever you craft, are you really doing it on a big enough scale for it to be statistically significant? <laughs> and the answer is probably no. No. And if you're sitting there asking yourself, how is it these guys like Messi are hunting and making money and able to keep playing, it's because they're literally hunting non-stop. They pick a mob, they pick something they know drops markup items that are in demand, and they hunt over and over, nonstop, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, until they have a big enough stack of those markup items that they can sell them and make a profit. And that's how they do it. And hopefully I'll be there one day too. My goal is to get to a point in Mayhem where I can really start truly grinding like that without it, without it affecting my... Pause... Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I think if you're going to be hunting, don't really expect to be making money off this game, honestly, to be completely honest. Just don't. I mean, you might. The dream of being Uber. Yeah. 
investing, trading. That's what you need to focus on if you're going to be making money in this game. And just that. That's my honest opinion. Socializing, making friends, seeing if friends need certain items, you know, and holding on to items until you finally get a good sale at a good price. But, and, and remaining liquid to buy new stuff. I don't know. That's, that's the way to do it. That's the way to make the money. Playing the game. Getting the raw resources necessary. Maybe get some, some special nice drops and stuff. Grim. You just ended the lurk and now it's nice stream to see. Hey, man. Grim. Grim, homie, yeah. Looks like we're coming up. We got 908 points so far. No big, big hits. I think Grim is taking off. Thanks, thanks for lurking, bro. Rhino says goodbye to you. Oh, man. CVB does got some good advice sometimes for the newer players. I'll give him that. It's when he starts going a little bit too paranoid and saying crazy weird stuff. I don't like that. Like talking smack about the investments and stuff and then rallying everybody to think about it. I don't know. Maybe I'm a yes man. I don't know. But, nah. See you later, Grim. You see markup is less losses, yeah. I hope the background music isn't, like, too loud for whenever I play other videos. Bacon is up in the house, everybody. Bacon has arrived. Bacon, you are the man, the myth, the legend. Midnight Bacon. Hey, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you guys on a, a little secret. I like. I like you guys. The my Entropia crowd. Hell yeah, you guys are freaking amazing. Vibing hard. Looks like we got another two hours before the instance ends. And uh, it's almost time to re-up. There's a No Man's Sky update? What, what's it all about? Like, brief summary. Custom ship builders, what? I need to see this with my own eyes. Major update, Orbital. Last month we welcomed a huge number of new travelers. Oh, that's good news for No Man's Sky. Russia with love stuff. All right, let's see. Press this. All right, what do we got? Introducing No Man's Sky Orbital. 
The orbital update brings a complete overhaul to space stations. Oh, what? Featuring new shops and activities, stations are now uniquely customized based on system, race, and locale. Engine improvements allow for vast interior spaces and immersive visuals. All dope. Customize your starship in the new ship editor. Brandon, do you want No Man's Sky? You want to play with us? Starship types are now possible. You can make your own ships now? Crashed ships can be salvaged for parts to create completely new ship designs. Oh, wow. Warp in to rescue your fleet if they get attacked on away missions. What? Guild, improve your reputation and even get discounts at the guild shop. Space station exteriors look incredible and are hugely varied. More will follow. Oh, that's dopeness. Oh, that's so cool. I'm excited. I be yo, I be playing No Man's Sky like in, in in the middle of making videos and stuff. Like I've been logging in like every day, playing a little bit of something something. So this is exciting. So when is that supposed to be out? Is it out already? Completely overhaul. Oh man. New shops, gameplay, and activities. Make starships that's never been seen before. Yo, that's dope. That is that is cool. That's oh, now. Oh man, it had to release it during Easter Mayhem when I have to like just play Entropia for like days and days and days until I like almost die. Damn, bro. I'm on the Regulite track and I even got in a thousand points. And I've been at it for almost three hours. Because he's giving Brandon all my points. It's like, what am I, a chopped liver? <laughs> it's okay. Brandon, Brandon needs all the, the mayhem tokens he can get because apparently he gets rare tokens and I don't. Hello Games is griefing. Yes, probably. I was noticing this, there were some problems yesterday. Disco Climax, let's go. I just wish everybody that, that came through and watched for a couple of minutes just liked the video for no reason. That would be nice. There's been like 70 something views on this live stream so far. Well, the last time I checked. <coughs> they come in, they, they leave. Alright, bounce, 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 bounce it, bacon. Bacon, bounce it. And uh, thank you for the Hoff wishes. Hopefully I do. It'll probably be a few days before they give me something good. Hanging out, chilling, man.
but at least they've given everybody something to watch during Easter Mayhem in, in case they, they have something. Yeah, it would be nice if I get all time high, honestly. But that's usually not what happens. Let's see. Still got a lot more left on this gun. I have 54 PED. Thirty-eight PD right there. A little bit of simmering. Ammo supply is not really dropping that much, um, considering we just redid it. So, like, what, 400 PD in ammo gone? I think the thing is, is my gun doesn't decay that much. Which is a survival mechanism, actually. And the fact that we have a 100% skill pill on, yeah. I really want a, 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 a lot better gun. I really do. Uh, Brandon, what category are you in right now? Oh, that hasn't happened in a long time. You're in Cat 6? Damn. I'm in cat five. What kind of gun are you using? Well, vibing hard, man. I think maybe my problem is, is I'm using an un unlimited gun. And maybe that affects loot. Probably does. Because I'm not contributing to the economy. I'm just feeding the loot pool. Azora's HK decked out. Holy shit, bro. You got one of those. That's pretty dope. I'm gonna have to get something like that. Uh-oh, Mac is getting swanty. 
Yo, 169! 169, boys. Still 200 PD down, though. Thank you for the grats, guys. I'm going to have to start making daily videos like Scotty's doing. Like little daily hunts. Today we're going to go around shooting 100 PD. We're going to have a good time. Nice, serene, peaceful music while it lasts. my new shirt if you can name the character I'll, I'll give you a dollar <laughs> Random laugh. Alright guys, we're, we're just hanging out chilling for right now. It's the, it's the way to be. It's the way to be, most definitely. Rats, Brandon, I saw it right out of the corner of my eye. 94 PD. Five hundred points right there. We did it. We did a thing. And uh, that brings us to one thousand five hundred. Ay, ay, ay. Eight thousand five hundred to go.
Oof. Is it lunchtime yet? No, it's almost dinner time. I'm gonna have to make my own dinner tonight. Let's see what their skills looking like. Almost every shot I get a skill, but it's so small. Barely get any. I got some reclaiming skill though. I'm gonna have to go skill on that mothership at some point in time. But it won't let me see the ships anymore. I look and I look and I can't see the Starfinder. It says the Starfinder is like somewhere all the way the hell somewhere else. See, you can't see it. It's weird. I should probably turn everything back on. Is that a thing? Like, did Mindark forget about the ship owners or something? tokens are these things even worth anything anymore oh Jesus no they're not that's kind of sad At least I'm still getting some good commando skills. Any evade skills. But 0 0.001 for anatomy? Oh my god. Uh, your wife's gonna hunt while you go to the bathroom? Lucky you. for almost five hours and only got a thousand five hundred points. Am I just not fast enough?
guess we're just hanging out. I'm gonna watch something. Ah, we found something to watch. What's up, lads and ladettes? How are you all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. So, it's start of day 12. Let's do a fortune report. Welcome to Wellwick Oracle. Okay, so, what are the spirits like today? Annoyed, luck will not be on our side. <laughs> so, I think probably the best thing we could probably do uh, today is once we've watered our stuff and we've checked on the chickens, probably going into... I'm actually, I'm really enjoying his, <laughs> his Stardew Valley uh, series. Probably going into the mine and doing some combat uh, stuff. Uh, tomorrow we'll hold the Egg Festival. Oh, cool. Cool. I like the Egg Festival. It's a good chance to good chance to catch some eggy wick, like get get some uh, uh, get the, the 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 hat. You know what I'm talking about? You know the hat? You know the hat? I'm sure I'm sure you know the hat. I don't Let's know what he's and, talking about. Uh, fill up our stuff, so we'll deal with the standard farm thing first, and then yeah, I think we're gonna go into the mines and do a little bit of combat training. Work on some of that because I like I like adventuring. Adventuring's fun. You know, doing some exploring and all that sort of stuff. So I, I have some I have some news that I would like to share with some of the people um, that watch this. And this is just some good news. Yay! So I, I, I've had some issues recently with, like, IRL with, like, my knees. Oh, no. And I thought I'd seriously damage them. But it turns out my knees are perfect. And I can get back into riding my bike. And yeah. going exploring and fishing and all the things that I enjoy doing in real life. So nice. I'm, 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 I'm a very, I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> Hell yeah. So today is a, today is a really good day to be recording stuff. So let's go in and say hi to the chick chickens. Chick chickens. Hello, Chip. I was there when he named it Chip. Bop, bop. And I didn't. Silly head I, I never heard of that head. one. Who's a good chicken? Silly heads a good chicken. Let's go in and get the eggies. One eggy, two eggy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save the eggies now because we are able to at some point make our mayonnaise machine, which requires copper bar, earth crystal, stone, and wood. Which we might actually have that. If not that exact thing, we can. Uh, have stuff that's very, very close. Uh, Come on, Scotty, give me good luck. Stone. We don't have any earth crystals, but we can get earth crystals today, I think. So what I'll do is I will... I'll set that in there to go. Sound good. And we'll pop eggs in there these in here we got it we got to give um we got to give joe his uh his water hello joe name this dog joe so we're gonna give joe his water we'll pop this back in here and uh while we're out today we'll look for some earth crystals which shouldn't be too hard to you know shouldn't be too hard to find and who knows if we can get a couple we could set up a few mayonnaise um mayonnaise thingies and we can make a bunch of mayonnaise because mayonnaise it sells pretty well it has a has it, it, it's it's it uh, from memory it's like like a hundred for like standard mayonnaise or a little bit more so if we can get a few of them mayonnaise. Up, we can make a bunch of mayonnaise and sell them and it'll be good plus i think we're gonna need mayonnaise for some of the food stuffs that we need to make hey you want a leak here you go linus Enjoy your food, my dude. Just give him food to random Wild people. Wild forageables. It's always a it's good... nice of him. It's always a good selection. Alright, so let's go down. Oop. Look at these guys. Got him. Got him. He's just going around Look popping, killing shit. Because we want to do, we want to work on our combat stuff. Because 
Hey I Brandon, yeah, we welcome back. We're stuff, watching Scotty. The more we can, um, like the, the, we'll be able to make rings and stuff, you know. But we'll go down. Let's see. Well, there's another way down. So I guess the luck is mechanical spider. Bad. Yeah, bro. We're fighting the mechanical spiders, be the eviscerators. But We're watching Scotty C93 like, do some Stardew Valley. And, and continue going down, which We're is having a good nice. time. Get you. As, as a group. And we got some uh, copper down here as well, which is nice. Get some wood. I'm just enjoying life right now. There we go. As everyone should. We'll just bust through here. Because life, life is precious, man. You never know. <laughs> When it's time to go. Come on. Unless you know, and then, the then it just gets kind of more stressful. I kind of hope I'm like given like. Now, do we have any like diggy? You have a year to live. All right. Around? Do we have Good. Any of those around? Doesn't look like it. That's okay. That is all good skis. Pick that up. You watch the camp review? Your voice sounds very different on the mic than you hear in your head. It's usually the case. No, so it looks like we'll have to just kind of... We are... We are I, li I like the sound of my own voice, though. We are out of stairs, so we will have to just kind of find the stairs ourselves. Shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be. I mean... Did I didn't know my voice sounded so cool. There they are. Stairs. Got some nice pleasant music. Yeah. Ooh, it's the, the grub wormy things. Eat the grub worms. Come on. I don't David Corbett is Black Eagle. Oh, Roger. I will try oh, to keep that in mind. Shoot. I really need to get... Um, but we're doing Entropy right now. I really need to get the bigger bags. The bigger bags are going to be very, very important. If I can find... I would really like to find an earth element. That would be... Or the earth stone, whatever they're called. So we can make some mayonnaise machines. I want to see him make a mayonnaise machine. Num num on that one. Because I've never made a mayonnaise machine in that game. Oh. Getting another guy. Well, Just the arms? Like, oh, um, no, they, they have swords on them. Stuff up. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. Alright, hold on. Wait, wait another minute. Alright, there we go. They run kind of funny. Then they attack you. But this is Easter Mayhem. They usually have these things. You fight these things and hopefully you get something good. It's all about the points though. And get all the points, get the extra mayhem tokens and goodies and stuff. It's gonna take me a long time to get 10,000 points. But we're chilling. This is, this is what we do. It's nice and relaxing, bro. You know, it's just, you can have a good time. What 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 some, most people usually do is they, when they have to grind like this, you know, they'll usually watch something like on the side, and it's just it's just relaxing, and you never know what you might get. But uh, you gotta get into the game, bro. You gotta get into the game and ease your way in. Yeah, it's chill time. This is very chill. 
That's what I like about this game. You just hang out and chill. And you can talk to people in the chat room. Are these worth anything? Easter Strongbox? Yeah, of course. It's usually worth more during off time, though. When it's not Easter. After your physical tomorrow is complete, you'll look for that starter set. Yeah, it'll be all be on the website. I can show you. Um, this is what the Entropy website looks like. You're gonna wanna like uh, log in and make your account and all this. You can get your deposits, think it, but you will go into the web shop is what you're gonna wanna do. And uh, the platinum starter pack is seventy-five dollars. I guess the gold starter pack is thirty. If that gives you any any idea of what's going on. So you should probably get the platinum starter pack, seventy-five dollars. Sorry, or get the gold, but you get more stuff with the platinum. And if you need more ammo, honestly. Go into the starter pack refill. Large. It's 20 bucks. You get a bunch of goodies. And most of all, though, you'll get skill pills. These neurobiotic uh, boosters right here. I still buy these. They're 50% skill pills. I like to have 100 on me at all times. So I'll, I'll spend like $100 at the starter pack. But here recently, I've been working mostly off of getting... Uh, if you want the special ones, buy the keys to open up. Yep. Any issues with hackers and cards on file? No. No, this is very secure. And one thing I know about this game is it's highly secure. Do you have a... Uh, do you have a, a, a smartphone? If you have a smartphone, put two-factor authentication. Like, I can go ahead and show you what that looks like. All right. They have two-factor authentication, um, which basically does that. And you get a nice little number code, and then you put the code in while uh, while logging into the game. No one will get your shit. No one will get your shit. And uh, I have never once had any problems with uh, compromised security off, off my credit cards playing this game. Not once. So, yeah, no. You're, you're going to be fine. Especially if you get the tooth factor of authentication. Or whatever it's called. Yeah. They, it's, well, they have an app. You activate the app off the phone, and you link your your phone number to their website, and then yeah, it just all co coincides together. Because you got to also understand that whenever you do, um, PlayStation has weaker security. Yeah, probably. If you draw money out, do they send? send it to the card on file no here's the thing they actually have to check on so much stuff it takes like three months to get a withdrawal right it takes like three months to get a withdrawal because they have to check uh if if there's like fraud or anything like that uh money laundering they 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 really don't want anything like that going on in their game um they're swedish company so i mean they kind of 
you know, whatever. But they, they will send money to your bank account. You just send them your, your routing information and stuff like that or however, whatever they ask. Like, you know. <laughs> Brandon says, PlayStation lost my card twice to hackers. Yeah, they, that don't happen on Entropia, though. But uh, let's see. Uh... And if you're gonna like do the withdrawals, it asks you to link up your bank account information, which is, you know, you can actually put in money through a wire transfer. So, you, you know, if you if you're like, if if you're uh, familiar with it, all of that, like, if you do it right, you don't give away any info that they can like take money from you, you know. So it's it's all on board. So I don't know. I mean, their security is 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 pretty top notch. So I wouldn't worry about any of that. I know some people like they're like, oh, I gotta I gotta give them my bank account information. Like, no, you don't. Not really. Just certain information. But if you know what information that you know, I don't know. But yeah, I just put my cards on file and all that. I trust it. out chilling but yeah go check out scotty c93 for that uh stardew valley um I, I they usually don't let you make like a secondary account or alter or anything like that you you can only make one account and only one account if they and they like crack down on shit like that. You only get one account for the rest of your life. And if your like girlfriend or wife starts playing, like you need to let them know that you're both on the same wavelength or whatever. Because it, what it causes is like an issue. Because they do monitor trades and stuff like that. Make sure everything's above board. That's what takes so long to get money out. Oh yeah, a, sec a second bank account separate from your bill. And yeah, if you want to do that, yeah. always do weird stuff like that Brandon your wife wants to start playing but we keep stalling go get another computer for her and get her get her in just let my dark know that you're both playing on the same IP Oh, she has her own PC. Yeah, get her in. David says, when I drove for Uber, I told customers I'd do that so I feel, so they feel more secure. Oh yeah. Uh oh, it looks like we have a warlock in the vicinity. But yeah, you, you should be very secure playing this game. It, I have not had any problems. Some people say that they've had problems, but uh, I don't, I, I, don't I, I think they're bullshitting. 
a lot of people like to start start shit because they play the game they lose money and through playing the game yes you can do that be careful don't play above your means and only only play what you can afford to lose it's kind of like the rules of gambling but uh you know if you put your money in the right places you should be fine like the deeds and shares and stuff Make sure everything's secure and everything's fine. You're gonna build another desktop? Hell yeah. I'd like to keep my ammo count above 10,000. That would be nice. Certainly like the stock market I, I used to do. And you never put up more than you can lose? Yeah. That is pretty much a trick. I mean, it's a real cash economy and you gotta, gotta figure it in a real cash economy like the real life economy. There's, you could lose out in real life if you just throw your money around willy-nilly and buy shit you don't need. You're going to end up with shit that won't sell back to for anything. You know, this, that, and the other thing. I mean, it just is how it is. Give me one quick second, guys. All right, guys. Uh, gonna be real with you. We had to put down a little kitty today, uh, about uh, probably like an hour ago, and uh, my girlfriend's a little bit distraught, and she wants to go get some some food. So once these skill pills and all these pills deactivate, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the for the day. We'll probably pick this up a little bit later. But you still got me for a little while. For at least another 15 minutes. Yeah. So we're going to go get some chicken. It's going to be kind of nice to leave the house. But yeah. Uh, yep, a little a black kitten named Pippa. I had to get put down today. She's pretty old. She's like 15 years old. And, uh, yeah, she was pretty sick for the last couple of days and wasn't drinking any water, so, yeah. So that's how that is. Yeah, I, I kind of figured it'd be a little bit disrespectful to stream today, but I wanted to go ahead and stream anyway. Uh, cause first day and all, but, uh... She wants to go out and get some food, and I don't want to tell her no. So, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, she she loved that little kitty. And, but now we have uh, we have a little orange kitty named uh, Nacho that we just adopted from the wild. <laughs> it showed up a couple, couple months ago, and we brought her into the house. Her brother Ziggy's outside. He's a little black cat. 
So he's probably going to be next to come in, but we got to go get him fixed and neutered and stuff. We also got our, our, our big cat named Jasper, previously named Jumper by his previous owners. I don't know why they got rid of that, that guy, but he is such a cool kid. He is such a cool cat. He really is. He, he actually has a thing for Nacho, I guess. So they play. But he's like huge. He's a huge black cat. Of course, we got our dog Bowie hanging out, chilling. He's the basset hound you, you hear every once in a while in the background. <laughs> yeah, he's a good dog. He's a good dog. Then we got the... I don't know what kind of cat it is, but uh, she's getting pretty old too. But uh, her name's Chitty. The pretty little lynx, lynx-like cat, man. Kind of crazy. So, I mean, we still got animals to take care of. And that's how, how that goes. But, hell yeah. But it does always suck to, to lose, lose one of those little critters. It affects her a lot more because, you know, she, she does more with them than I do. My room is a cat a cat and dog nose-go zone, so... Yeah, they're not too feral. Like, Nacho would always run away from me when she was still an outside cat. But she'll let me pet her every once in a while, but sometimes she'll still just run away. And her brother Ziggy's still outside, but he, he he he'll come up to you and let you pet him. It's pretty cool. But no, they're not that feral. They're pretty chill. And chilling even more. But yes, there's that. Uh, I'm probably just going to go in the clothes I'm wearing now. Probably, I'll probably buy the food. When you relocate, you're going to get a dog full size? Hell yeah. Dogs are cool, man. This basset hound named Bowie, though. When we first got him, he did not like me at all. Like... I'd have to yell at him in the hallway because he, he wanted me to go to my room or something. I'm like, who the fuck do you think you are, dude? You just growl at me all the time. But then I started feeding him, like, biscuits and stuff. Now I'm the cookie man. So he's pretty chill. I, I, he still snaps at me every once in a while. I don't like that. Good companion and guard dog. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 120 PED right there. Hells to the yizzle. Franklin Fizzle. Let's go. Ooh. About to have our first... Uh, We got some salvaging skill. Hell yeah. Pets are bribable. Yes. Yes, they are. Most definitely. Oh man, yeah, it'd be it'd be good to get up and walk around a little bit, go get some food, and come back. I'll pro I might stream when I come back. I might stream something else when I get back. So make sure you hit the bell icon. But I'm definitely gonna have to get this uh, Regulite track just so I can get some Mayhem tokens. I don't know if I'm gonna go too crazy this year on Easter Mayhem, but uh, there's definitely now a video for Easter Mayhem, which is kind of nice.
Is, is Stevie B still making videos? I don't know. I'd kind of think he he is. I don't know. But I need to make some more Entropia content, like the the daily video thing that Scotty's doing that me and Serial Overdrive used to do all the time. Those were the days. You work split shifts so your online time is erratic. Hey man, it is what it is. You know, you got. You just got to make make sure you're making time for yourself. It doesn't matter what time it is, as long as it's your, it's, it's some good you time. You know, and play a game like this though. Like there's people all around the world on it all the time. Thousand points gained, baby. Let's go. Yes, one fourth. Does he auto defend? I don't know. Uh, he is he he is very defensive of his of, of his mom. Like he like he didn't bite me, but like he definitely connected his teeth to my arm one time when I was giving my girlfriend a piece of paper. Okay, and I guess I, I was doing it too fast or something and he thought I was like doing something wrong you know and he he didn't bite down but he he definitely like showed his like true colors like yo don't mess with her like dude you need to chill <laughs> you know <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing uh, I, I, I will say that like it's 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 good that he does that in my opinion, that he's ready to protect and defend my girlfriend. Because that will give me just enough time to grab my sword and start hacking. <laughs> An intruder or anything like that. Just, just, just saying. Oh, does, does my character auto-defend? I thought you were talking about my dog. Um... The wonderful thing about defense in this game is you can't evade. You cannot evade by moving. Once they're close enough to you, they're going to hit you or they're not. It's all based off of your evade skill. So evade skill is kind of automatic. And also your armor. If you have good armor, you won't take damage. I wasn't talking about the cat protecting. I was talking about the dog. The cats could care less. Right? <laughs> but no, your armor and your evade skills is what protects you automatically. But you're going to take damage regardless. And that's why you got healing items. And it's pretty important to actually take damage. So you can heal. So you get healing skills. Everything you get is, is skill worthy. Everything you do is based off skills. And whenever you take losses from hunting and stuff like most of that those losses go into skills. So make sure you're maximizing the amount of skill that you intake. Right? And then it makes you a better character in the long run. You got uh you got your professions right here. I'm a level 76 BLP sniper hit. Which is ranked in, in superior. But uh, Animal Looter is level 64. Dude, this has taken me nine years. It's maybe a decade to get all these skills up. But mostly in the last five years. Six years. Maybe seven years. It's a big deal. So, it... You just got to slow and steady. Just play at your own pace and have fun. That's all that really matters. And maybe, just maybe, you might hit a nice big Hall of Fame. Let's see. 
I guess in the last 24 hours, somebody hit uh, almost 9,000 PED. That's $900, which is pretty nice. $900 in one hit. That's good. An eviscerator ranks six for almost 8,000. That's one category above what I'm doing right here. And you got 7,500 for an eviscerator four. That's the category below this one that I'm doing. I'm in category five. They hit a category four for almost 7,000. So you can do it. You got almost 5,000 PED hit off of an eviscerator level two. That's like, that's good. Um, as far as what the getting a thousand points, is that regular skill or something for, oh, whenever it says you got a thousand points, that's, that's for the event. That's for the event. Right now I need 10,000 points to be able to get the next on my Regulite track, which gives me a bunch of mayhem tokens and stuff like that. Tokens can be used to buy items and I've been buying skill pills with it so I could just skill up faster. But uh, it does look like we have about three minutes remaining. Brandon says it's very important to hunt at your level. And that is very true. Don't go after big shit unless you're prepared to spend big money that you probably don't have. Like if you used to go after these Eviscerator 5s at uh, just starting out, you would need really good armor really good heals healer healing stuff and a really good gun and the only way to get a really good gun is to spend buku amounts of money and then you're just going to be flat broke do i resource gather as well yeah man resource collecting and well you could cut down trees to get skills for your looter skills i got a lot of looter skills just by looting you get skills like looter skills and you know that's the resource gathering but uh you you can take it into the mining and stuff like that there there's a lot to this game and it's it will take you a while the best way to just get just just get into it get into it and then watch videos and stuff about people explaining it and then see what they're talking about and then knowing it yourself and then you're, you're good I think this is uh, what we got time for like a couple more and we're gonna go get some chicken but before we do we made like 40 Easter boxes convert this to ammo uh, we're down like almost a uh, hundred PED in ammo, which isn't that bad. Considering that we've been popping all these skills and getting all these skills. Alright, that I'm gonna I'm just gonna call it here. I don't wanna keep my girl waiting any longer than I have to. You may get it tomorrow and put some playtime. Hell yeah. Alright, what's our repair bill? Oof! 259 repair that's like that's expensive. That's twenty-five bucks, right? Is that twenty-five bucks? Yeah. Yeah, that's like twenty-five dollars for a repair bill for four hours of play. All right, we did the thing. We did the thing. We'll come back to it a little bit later. I gotta go make my girlfriend happy. I'll be back later.